Dr. Hemang will take one just one or two minutes. Our chairman will be joining. Dr. Arjan is joining? No. No, he's not. I say his laptop to Mojire table right here. Huh? There is another wire connecting now. Cameras. Okay, I said, Madam. Okay. So, good morning, Dr. Among is there? Yes, yes, I'm here. Yeah. Good morning, Chairman is a bit unwell. His wife took the call and she conveyed that uh, he's not in a position to join. So he'll, if he feels better, he'll join a little later. So we'll uh, go ahead with the process. So I uh, welcome everybody, our staff, all program officers uh, from the six states and our uh, headquarters staff, they're all there. So they will make a quick introduction, and then uh, I'll request you to give a uh, opening address uh, to the to the group, Dr. Hemang. So we'll just we'll start the uh, introduction. Uh, so I'll start with myself. My name is N M Prusty. I'm the board vice chairman of CFNS. I am uh, Sri Ram Singh, principal advisor to CFNS. Thank you. I'm Vignaraj Vera, the finance manager of Shapings. Uh, good morning, all. I am Sanjeev Nai, the uh, state program officer from Odisha. Good morning, all. I am Ali, state program officer from Odisha. Good morning to all. Uh, I am Bhupesh Kumar Bhupar, uh, Apple chapter. Good morning, all. My name is Palak Divan, and I am from Chhattisgarh. Uh, good morning, everyone. I am Shreya Parashar, I am SP of Madhya Good morning, all. I am Manisha Pandit, and I am program. Uh, I am a manager, knowledge management, research, and communication internationally. Good morning, all. I am Rajesh Verma, state program Good morning. My name is Sachin Padhe. I am working as manager programs in CFNS. Thank you. So, uh, thank you, everybody. Uh, over to you, Dr. Hemang, uh, for your address. Before quickly. Uh, before quickly Dr. Hivang starts, I would like all of you to introduce to Dr. Hivang. Dr. Hivang is the Director of Child Health and Development uh, of uh, SIF, that is Children's Investment Fund Forum. And before joining SIF in 2018, he has led, led, led different public health and nutrition programs while working with the state government in India, UN agency, international health NGO, and the private sector. His areas of expertise and interest include maternal and child health, nutrition, neglected tropical diseases, and WASH. Himan, uh, Dr. Himan is a trained medical doctor with uh, expertise in maternal and child health nutrition. Thank you. Over to you, Dr. Himan. Thank you so much, Dr. Manisha. Uh, a, a very good morning to everyone and, and wish you all a, a very happy new year. Hope the new year has started on, on a great note for all of you. Uh, I have a small presentation. Uh, so, Prostiji, I just wanted to confirm, like, what is the time that would be available for this particular address? Uh, we have this this session. We have till to, uh, eleven fifteen. Uh, okay. That includes uh, your address and uh, chairman's address. Chairman is not there, so we have the time. So we'll. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. So I'll just try and share my screen. I have few slides that I had prepared. Basis uh, and then there are three main parts to it. So just I'll, I'll just try and share my screen. Just give me a moment. Can we have something kept here? Yeah, we can see the screen. Login ka kya hai rakdo na? That's too far. We can't see. And or what we can go down. there and see. Then, then I know, but your camera, camera is that side, na? Are you able to see my screen? Yeah. yeah. 
Okay, that's the only way. Uh, should I start then? Yeah. Great. Uh, so I think there are three main uh, sort of areas that I wanted to quickly cover. One is, uh, and, and probably this is something that uh, we will all agree on, which is the what is the context and, and uh, what is the overall importance of, of food and nutrition security. The second is uh, what, what comprises uh, of a food system and why it is important to take a food system lens uh, to address multiple challenges which will not just include people, but also people, planet and health. And where does India stand on its food transformation pathway and what role coalition can think about? And, and there are things that coalition is already doing, but what are uh, different sort of areas, thematic areas that, that coalition can think about looking at the overall food and nutrition security uh, aspects for India. Uh, so just in, in terms of context, as we know, before the pandemic, uh, the world was not on track to meet its commitment uh, for world hunger as well as malnutrition. And currently, as, as we speak, there are almost 2.3 billion people uh, who are either moderately or severely food insecure. And most of these people either stay in Asia or in, and almost one third of them in Africa. But even if you look Asia, the major component of, of that population is contributed by India by the virtue of the large population that we have in our countries. And overall, if we look at some of the global uh, targets, as I said, like before, uh, before pandemic, most of these global targets, the, the world was not on track to achieve some of the SDG goals, including India. Uh, but post the pandemic and post some of the conflicts that we are seeing globally, as well as some of the effects of uh, the, the climate change that we are seeing, all these indicators, including stunting, anemia, low birth weight, child overweight, breastfeeding and wasting. Out of all this, the only one target where we are on track globally, as well as in India, is breastfeeding. Rest all are off track. So, so this uh, sort of just is an indication that the task is clearly cut out and, and we are off track by a huge margin, including all the key indicators for nutrition. One of the major reasons and then the reason I wanted to give a bit more context is that the work that uh, currently CFNS is starting or, or doing uh, in partnership with CIF and, and uh, UNICEF what are the other areas that are of interest or, or what are the other areas that could be thought about, including how the current work that we are jointly doing uh, fits in the bigger picture. So some of the main sort of drivers of cost of food and when there is increase in cost of food in a society where there is a lot of inequality, uh, the most vulnerable population would have uh, sort of more detrimental effects of, of increase in this cost of food. So it was basically driven by uh, increase in cost of food production, issues with food supply chain, issues with consumer demand, uh, which is driven by the, the change in overall demography where urbanization is increasing at a, as a, as a very rapid rate, and the trade policies, etc., where which are more protectionary, uh, which also leads to uh, increase in food prices, particularly for most vulnerable population. There are three key messages uh, that I wanted to share. Uh, the first among them with respect to the uh, food and nutrition security is that currently world over, there is no region uh, that is meeting the recommendations for eating healthy and limiting unhealthy ones. So in, in developed country, it is more about consumption of unhealthy food, which is more. But in a country like India, as we know, we have triple burden. Uh, so we have uh, protein and energy, which is less uh, in, in the diets of the people. There are also micronutrient deficiency, but at the same time, there is also increase in the overall consumption of unhealthy food. The reason, one of the reasons for this is that on the left side, if you look at, this is what world is currently producing. Uh, so which is almost 50% of cereals and starches. And then there is, uh, there is a, a meat, there is oil, milk, sugar, and 11% and of fruits and vegetables. 
what lenset talks about in terms of what is the kind of food that we should consume it is almost 50% of fruits and vegetables so globally there is a big mismatch between what we are producing and what we are supposed to eat which is like 50% of fruits and vegetables should be consumed vis-a-vis -vis 50% of cereals and starches is what we are currently producing the second is that the health burden so first message is in in terms of the diet that most countries are consuming including india and more so in in cases uh, of of low and middle income countries uh, what we should there is big gap between what we should consume and what we are consuming the result of that in a way is that there is a huge health burden of poor diets including the triple burden of malnutrition that i spoke of and the third the current food consumption uh, or or the current food system which is producing the kind of food which is not just affecting the health of the people in negative way but it is also affecting the health of the environment in a negative way uh, so as as you might have noted in the recent cop discussion there was a sort of a dedicated day for food systems but there was also a lot of discussion on food systems because almost 35% of greenhouse emissions which are currently there they are coming for food systems and food systems has the capacity not just to contribute towards greenhouse emissions but it also has the capacity to act as a carbon sink but that would only happen if the food system is uh, is designed and it it uh, delivers in a way which is good for people as well as the planet this is just like these are just few pointers so if those are the three problems which i just spoke about in terms of mismatch between what is needed and what is grown what are the deleterious health effects of of that kind of consumption and how it also affects the planet what are some of the levers for transformation of food systems and these are certain things which probably cfns can also think through as as you uh, think in today's deliberation also going forward that what are the kind of strategies or what are the kind of steps that cfns as a coalition uh, should think about so it could be about integrating development and humanitarian in conflict affected areas that might not be very relevant for india but there are still uh, this is still relevant uh, in in some of the states in india what is it that can be done for scaling up climate resilience across food systems what is it that can be done for resilience of most vulnerable so for example in indian context currently there are a lot of social protection schemes that are coming up but the issues with those social protection schemes are there are challenges within coverage there are challenges within intensity there are challenges within the continuity uh, and quality of some of those skills uh, some of those schemes so for most vulnerable population what is it that can be done for improvement in existing social protection schemes to improve the resilience of most vulnerable population in terms of improvement in coverage intensity quality and continuity what are the food system uh, gaps which can be identified and and through the partner organizations uh, could be could be addressed in in consultation and in collaboration with the government what is it that can be done in terms of a identifying the inequalities working towards equity in some of the existing programs and what is it that can be done in terms of strengthening food environment and promoting positive behavior among the population so for india what where, what does it like where is it that india currently so as as we see that globally uh, if there is progress in india there will be progress globally so india is 17% of world population 15% of its livestock 8% of its biodiversity 9% of its arable land and 4% of its water resources but we also know that we are we are having a huge population of almost 1.4 billion and currently we are home to almost 200 million undernourished children so not only is the nutrition crisis alarming but the existing food systems are increasingly becoming environmentally unsustainable and thereby what are some of the levers and and this again is just a very high level summary each of this areas will have multiple sub points that can be addressed so for example what is it that can be done to improve resilience of most vulnerable population so what are existing social protection schemes 
what are the additional social protection schemes that can be thought about what is the current ecosystem of food supply and are there areas in in the existing uh, supply chain of food systems that there are additional interventions that are required what are like if there are uh, vulnerable population or children or or women uh, in whom there is growth faltering happening what are the ways in which this growth faltering can be identified at the earliest time and then they could be connected either for supplementary nutrition or appropriate health systems what are the what are some of the areas that can be looked at from the lens of climate resilience so for example is there something uh, that can be thought about with respect to uh, uh, natural farming is is something that we can look at what are the existing regulatory mechanisms for food safety food label labeling and consumer education so again uh, as i said there are multiple social protection schemes but in some of the social protection schemes cash transfer that sif is currently uh, supporting what we are uh, seeing is that uh, when uh, people receive this cash transfer more often than not uh, they are tempted uh, for buying uh, the local processed food because that local processed food has a lot of aspirational value and and the core benefit of this cash transfer is not transferred because that money rather than being utilized for uh, nutritious food is used for processed food what are some of the nutrition sensitive agriculture practices while focusing on small holder farmers that can be looked at so these are just some of the areas that cif is actively working on but while uh, cfn has also sort of deliberate some of the areas today what does uh the cfn strategy 5 years down the line look like is something that you can ponder upon across all the areas also focusing on some of the work that cif unicef and cfns are currently doing which probably fits well within this particular bucket which talks about how do we identify growth faltering at the earliest and then link them to appropriate nutrition and health system i was also uh, sort of thinking about three major sort of steps uh, which obviously would be discussed in a mid, bit more detail today but what is the current strategy for cfns what is it that cfns has a value add to add towards the partner organization and what would be cfns's value add for the community who are the core partners and stakeholder groups existing uh, within uh, cfns but who are the other partners that coalition might reach out to to increase the the overall stakeholder base and while looking at this strategy what are some of the key pillars that can be looked at so what are the needs of the community what is the kind of capacity building that can happen for partner organization what is the common narrative that partner organizations of coalition can together build how do they inform the existing programs and inform the design of the programs at Uh, appropriate levels and what are the kind of course correction care that can be thought through so these are just some of my ideas in terms of both uh, uh, the the overall uh, sort of uh, uh, context of food system where india stands what are the challenges what are some of the levers and and what is it uh, that cfns can think through i also had one more point uh, towards the existing work that we are doing and as we know that <coughs> as a collection of efforts that that all the partner organizations have done uh, for quite some time now we have this uh, cmm guidelines which are there from government of india and when what we have seen is that while the state governments have invested quite a bit in in capacity building in making sure that all the instruments etc are available at the anganwadi centers one of the weakest link is the availability of take home ration so i also wanted to request uh, uh, cfns in today's meeting that if they can also think through what key part cfns and partner organization can play towards improvement in availability of thr improvement in in supply chain of thr in access of thr and moving forward is there also a case that needs to be built for improved resource allocation for thr because as we know uh, the the per uh, child uh, sort of uh, allocation is 12 rupees but uh, since 
the conflict and pandemic and inflation 12 rupees might not be sufficient so what is it that can be done along with all the partner organization to request some of the state governments to increase the the allocation so that a thr is available to normal children but then uh, there is sufficient uh, resources also available for augmented thr for for wasted children so some more focused discussion on uh, improvement in in excess quality availability of take home ration both for uh, for normal children as well as for same children would be great and and once again uh, thank you so much for for inviting me to 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 this particular meeting i was hoping to be there in person it would also uh, have been a great opportunity to meet all of you in person but uh, due to some of the other engagements i am not able to be present there but i i hope in in some of the subsequent meetings will be able to meet in person and and thank you so much uh, for for this invitation and and uh wish you all the very best both for today's uh, discussion but also uh bringing about a comprehensive strategy for for growth of this coalition which is obviously very important for the overall food and nutrition security but also some of the uh, sort of uh, pieces uh, that will also help this this current partnership between safe cf and sn and unicef thank you so much thank you thank you dr hemang it was excellent uh, 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 insight and you gave a very interesting uh, macro picture uh, that uh, how india stands uh, with respect to the world and what are the emerging challenges in the food system and uh, uh, throughout the presentation uh, dr hemang uh, i could personally sense the great synergy uh, between your thoughts and uh, our uh, tiny steps that coalition is beginning to take and the internal discussions that is taking place and the various uh, uh, partnership that we are in the process of building with various uh, development actors various knowledge institutions and uh, and and the like and your emphasis on the cmam guidelines and the um, resource leveraging to make the thr uh, initiative much more robust effective and efficient is is really the call of the hour and uh, uh, definitely our colleagues will take this uh, uh very seriously and uh, in our discussion we will definitely emphasize and uh, for all that uh, we are doing one project but we are mindful of the uh, the the bigger picture that you said and uh, coalition in the coming years probably will be able to uh, make for into uh, playing an important role all that you have aspired and tried to share with us thank you hemang once again and we'll like to have you in person also in near future in some of our deliverations thank you anything else you want to talk to we have couple of minutes we have got i think 10 minutes you can uh, ask any of our program officers or program managers anything that you would like to know to get an insight what we are doing uh, they are available they can share with you briefly if you like No, no. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mr. Tj. Also, like, if if there are any questions, probably if if the program officers uh, should would want to ask uh, from SIF, and and I'm aware that probably uh, Samir would also join uh, in in second half. But if you have any questions for us, like, uh, just if if I can provide some more context and and insights to this overall partnership, <laughs> what was the reason that SIF and and UNICEF and CFNS sort of came together for this particular work? or any other question that you have uh, regarding the work that sif is doing uh, or or uh, in in terms of some of the thing that you are hearing in your states uh, so one is if there are any questions second if you also want to share any of your current insights or information that you might have with respect to what are the discussions that are having that you are having or or the state is having with respect to the the thr situation or or cash transfer etc uh, i'll be happy to hear and and answer dr hema on this i would like to update you that we recently uh, concluded the round table in madhya pradesh which was on uh, uh, that, that was on uh, this very component of take home ration and as a form of observation that we, that we had from the brainstorm session that we had with the members we did come Uh, recommendations that uh, uh, talk about uh, uh, strengthening uh, that talk uh, that talk about uh, a separate HR for SAT and MAN. 
in context of Madhya Pradesh. So this is about uh, the Madhya Pradesh round table that we concluded and in line with what all oh. you have oh. and in line with what all you have oh. stated about uh, the food system approach, the democracy efforts uh, required to be done, scaling up of climate change across food systems. Uh, tackling poverty, tackling consumer behavior. So on this, I would like to uh, just put uh, in this that uh, we are uh, working with uh, uh, Well Hunger Hilfe on a research study on a qualitative assessment of uh, one of their interventions on regional nutrition program where they have created nutri smart communities in uh, Chhatapur district and uh, uh, and Shopur district. And they have taken up three blocks there in Chhatapur district. They are doing it in Rajnandar block and Vijayawada block, and in Shopur they are doing it in the Karahal block. So we are also uh, our host for that. The Welsh Hunger Hilfe Pratipaj is also here. So uh, we are doing that qualitative assessment. We are trying to see how through their uh, five evidence-based practices, where they are focusing on uh, building uh, a participatory learning action approach and uh, integrated farming practices, nutrition sensitive micro planning, how they are trying to build that particular community that is very vulnerable into uh, a, a nutrient smart community. So I went there on the field and I was joined by my state program officer from the Pradesh. And we did see a, a change uh, in the, uh, uh, like going through the data that was available for those particular districts. And when we went to the field, so I could see some of the models that can be uh, scaled up, that can be replicated in different states. So I'm hoping to come out with that research study uh, by uh, mid of February with the uh, with the while with the first draft of the report uh, that uh, will be shared in the roundtable that is scheduled that is tentatively scheduled for 29th of February, and uh, then we look towards uh, uh, scaling up these practices, replicating these practices in other in our other project states. So this is on this, and also we are exploring our partnership with other partner organizations like Digital Green, where we are looking into the aspect of strengthening of farmer producer organizations and how uh, empowered farmers can lead to better nutrition into uh, nutrition outcomes. So these are some of the um, uh, key uh, work that we uh, are aligning ourselves with, and we are hoping to dive dive into dive into this more in this year. Excellent. Um, some more. Insight. Sanjeev, you can talk about your climate sensitive agriculture initiative we are talking with ICR. Uh, good morning, all. Uh, and Millet. Yes. Uh, actually, uh, I am Sanjeev uh, from uh, Odisha State, uh, State Finance Chapter. Uh, actually, this was a good opportunity to discuss also since uh, we have come across the uh, Odisha, I joined, I think, uh, uh, June 5th, uh, and uh, within uh, seven months, a uh, couple of uh, uh, partner organizations and other stakeholders I have met and discussed about this food and nutrition security, how this aligned with uh, CFNS and CIF, and uh, how uh, uh, CFNS is striving for food and nutrition, uh, sustainable food and nutrition security for all. And uh, in a couple of months, uh, uh, CFNS Odisha chapter has aligned with the uh, Odisha Blade Mission uh, since uh, this is one of the most important components of food security and uh, nutritional aspect that we are getting from blades. So, in terms of that, uh, it is so uh, I think uh, going to be happening in the month of February. So, already uh, the draft, uh, final draft we have submitted to the Odisha Blade Mission Department of Agriculture and Farmers Department. And uh, definitely will be having collaboration in terms of uh, uh, knowledge product and everything building and uh, dissemination of good practices that is happening across the states. So that will be a very good opportunity for CFNS to get into the uh, programs and uh, uh, supporting the government of Odisha, especially in Odisha. And then uh, another opportunity we have in Odisha uh, with the uh, National Rice Research Institute which is uh, most probably is a uh, institution for research for uh, biofertilization and rice and other uh, uh, rice uh, yeah, crop uh, development or improvement. And uh, most probably in that uh, um, memorandum of agreement, uh, coalition will be um, being a partner or uh, being a member, we can be acquainted <laughs> with them for working uh, resilient climate action and how to break down the disaster 
with regard to crop development and seed productions and the best practices that's happening across the states wherever the icr is intervening so those areas the cfns will be accommodating to work and generate the best practices and replicate in the national and international levels so these two things are simultaneously are uh, going to happen in the coming days i hope yes i'll i'll add i'll uh, supplement uh, dr hemang uh, what sanjeev is talking about the icr collaboration uh, the the national rice research institute is located in odisha uh, and uh, they have a mandate not only to work on rice but also to the agro system uh, so that means they, they also very conscious about that uh, how uh, the climate change uh, uh, the <coughs> carbon emission uh, <coughs> the greenhouse gas emission uh, caused by the uh, increased emphasis on rice and that too in rice in in the water field areas and all that in flood prone areas so there comes that's why how that diversification can take place and what are the other crops they can move uh, so that reminded me that that there is a sync between what the the government is thinking what you have presented as the necessity to move away from the cereal in a very strategic manner to other crops so this collaboration with uh, uh, national rice research institute in katak is uh, uh, is not on rice it is going to be on the uh, the agriculture climate resilient agriculture system so they will be uh, they are working on various uh, development of various um, uh, varieties uh, various uh, crop modules and uh, they have got uh, there will be several knowledge products and all that so they say that we will provide everything to you and you should mobilize your member organization uh, grassroots organization farming community and take this into practice and one of the things that they are talking about that promoting various bio fortified uh, uh, crops where this micronutrient deficiency and macronutrient deficiency can be built into the agri system so those are the kind of things that likely to happen in through this collaboration and you know we have in our board the uh, icr is presented the deputy director general of icr is our board member and icr is interested that we should work closely with icr labs their knowledge the kshi vigyan kendras and their state units and uh, seriously look into the uh, nutrition aspects in the food system so this is a positive development that is taking place great this is, this is really great to hear I, i just had two quick points here one on in in all the uh, sort of uh, knowledge management activities uh, since now uh, for any research activity uh, there is a great emphasis uh, for all the relevant permissions from icmr not just for clinical trials but for all human subject research uh, so if there is any research activity a it will be good to have co investigator from the government itself so that it is not a cfns uh, led uh, sort of knowledge uh, generation and dissemination but where uh, government uh, uh, people are either co investigator or co collaborator for the entire thing so that would be an important uh, requirement and if it is primary research then we'll have to think through whether or not there is requirement of uh, uh, submission for hmsc uh, through icmr because if it uh, because it is happening like through currently through unicef money so un does not become like it is currently not part of fcra requirements but what would still be really important while it is still happening through unicef uh, it will be great to have government uh, official either as co investigator not just an explicit permission but a co investigator or a collaborator for the entire uh, uh, research part so that a uh, the collection of data and and while when the research or insights are are, are disseminated there is greater buy in from the government so everything which is done at state level happens in close coordination with the government so that is one big piece which will be good to sort of keep in mind in all the evidence building and knowledge management piece the second it's great to hear that there are uh, newer sort of organization and newer partnerships being uh, thought through so what i would also request cfns is that Uh, for next few years one is the existing work that we are jointly doing which is currently focused more towards uh, uh, the children with uh, uh, severe acute malnutrition and and wasting etc but 
if there are other areas that cfns and and there would be other areas that cfns has an active role to play in it will also be good to think through uh, who are the key stakeholders how can we uh, like what is it that cfns is thinking about additional resource mobilization to some of the support some of that work and uh, once that draft is ready uh, i can also share with some of the other partners that sif uh, would meet and collaborate so that if there is a clear uh, area of work that cfns would identify which is coupled with clear sort of resource mobilization ask then as and because there are partners and other donor partners uh, who sort of uh, meet and and we, we we do meet with them and if there is a clear uh, sort of pillar and clear resource ask then uh, we can also circulate that uh, with uh, some of the other donor partners so that some of that work so i think two or three steps to it one out of the entire gamut of work that needs to happen what are few pieces that cfns is best place to do for those things to be uh, delivered upon what is the kind of resource need and who are the key stakeholders and while you sort of start engaging with stakeholders and also people to mobilize additional resources if can also play its part uh, to mobilize additional resources and and help cfns realize some of the other pillars uh, within this entire uh, cascade that is required to be acted upon Uh, this is very interesting very useful and we have noted this and uh, one development that's beginning to happen i will be happy uh, we are likely to get dr samya swaminathan into uh, our board there already uh, the uh, mr sir is a member of cfns and dr samya swaminathan was a eminent scientist and was uh, you know from your fraternity uh, she has become the chairman of mr sir and uh, Uh, some discussions going on so if she agrees or if it works out uh, she joins our board then our uh, ability to leverage on the uh, icmr front uh, will be much better i right? hope sure okay uh, well, dr himang i just wanted to clarify on one aspect of the research study that i mentioned that is a qualitative study number one a uh, uh, separate partnership that we have with wsc particularly for this study And number two on the ethical level, so it is basically a qualitative study. We are we, we are not undergoing any trials or something. It is just the assessment what uh, WHS has been uh, working on, and it's uh, purely no clinical method is used. It's the organic farming practices, the agricultural practices that have changed. So this I wanted to clarify, and also I wanted to update you on uh, as that is a design program uh, document. On the strength of leveraging the CSR resources, so we have been trying for this whole year, and uh, um, a student back I got a positive move from the Indian Institute of Corporate Affairs, where this hmm. MOU is being processed. We have submitted it some time six months back, but recently I have heard from her back from them where we are uh, collecting, uh, collating the success stories of the corporate social responsibilities. And uh, 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 then we can further align how CSR resources can be mobilized. And uh, uh, also, I think uh, our other state program officers also will have to say. I think, uh, yeah, Anil has Anil has to say something. Yeah. Uh, like uh, the partner organization for CFNS in Telangana is Vasan. Vasan is working with the Indian Agriculture from past ten years. So in that, uh, they are promoting millet cultivation and. Uh, Bringing millets back into the public diets, uh, through which uh, the nutritional deficiencies, uh, some of the nutritional deficiencies can be tackled. Uh, in that, uh, in 2021 to 23, there was a program uh, that with the Nitya Ayog, uh, which uh, where uh, Vasmas Vasmas collaborated with the University Department in Telangana, where they have included uh, how to put millet milk into the agricultural districts of Telangana. There, uh, to uh, around 2000 uh, Anganwadi centers, children have fed with the um, um, millet, uh, like you were saying, the food system approach. Where Vasan also followed the same approach where, uh, from the production to the processing, and then uh, making the uh, processed millets available in the center so that uh, that can be to the uh, children in the Anganwadi center. Along with that. Uh, uh, While the program was happening, and uh, uh, you you know the supplementary programs only we can uh, support uh, uh, two meals per week, uh, which is not going to change the scenario we are 
what we can see in the ground. So only two two meals per week we can't change. Uh, we can't bring an additional uh, supplementary. Then we thought of including households also to grow the their own food, uh, starting with kitchen gardens and millet, uh, millets, uh, at least for their household consumption, not using any uh, synthetic fertilizers and all. Uh, that program is now running up to a very big program right now. So uh, with the uh, initial experience that Vasan is having, right now we are also thinking to collaborate with them and uh, bringing that in a big way. And you are also uh, working, Vasan is working on climate resilient agriculture yeah, yeah. that that's one that one coincides with your thinking dr kamal sure great great thank you so much so krishna ji uh, apologies i'll have to drop off because there's another call which will start at 11:15 but thank you so much uh, uh, for for sharing those insights uh, from the state and uh, i also look forward to like basis today's uh, discussion if there is any document that you are able to share in terms of what are the key discussion point decision points that cfns would have uh, for 2024 which would also help us to think through what are some of the partnerships and next steps that we will have to think through between cif and, and unicef and ncfns but thank you so much for this opportunity thank you very much we will come back to you definitely thank you so much thank you thank you for your time okay so we are uh, we have been introduced to each, each other and uh, we have also got a, a very interesting doping uh, as to uh, that what CFNS CFNS is not one small program that uh, is supporting us in terms with salary uh, we are CFNS is a it has a, a, a demanded so we have a program we have a project but we have program so we have to think uh, beyond so between today and tomorrow we'll be talking about two aspects clearly one is what is our organizational mandate and what is our programmatic mandate so these are the two two major things that we'll say because there are certain things that we are uh, we should do as a coalition uh, you, you might not find it as a part of the project that you are managing right now so you might find that this is a, this is not mandated this is not, donor is not asking for this why should i put my energy into it no because this project the, we have got one project and but you are a resource person of the coalition so you have to pursue the organizational mandate also you got a twin role organizational role and as a programmatic role because tomorrow you will get other project will work and today you heard our donor is uh, is not only the chief is the donor is international donor it is not only supporting uh, the project which we are implementing through unicef it is supporting there are several projects in the world it's a global funding agency one of the very uh, high net worth uh, funding agency and they are supporting many activities and they are deeply into the the food system and in our uh, previous discussions before this approval of this project we had several rounds of discussion with the the, the chief team and they said that uh, if cfns create a vision around the food system we will be very happy and all that we will be very happy to support today he gave an indication that what are the kind of thinking that is taking place and all that they even he he said that we will we are ready to look at it and beside that he is also he said that they will be happy to share it with other partners because at the donor community level they are also partners so there are global partners global funding agencies so they periodically meet and talk and all that so they will say that these are some interesting things that is happening in india and we should work with it and all that mm -hmm. so there is a a much greater interest in, from the donor community to uh, uh, work in the food the holistic food system nutrition is that that's why we in our uh, thing will when we go to the uh, formal presentation we will say that, that food security and nutrition is as the name says coalition for food food and nutrition security so we have a 
role towards food security, we have a role towards nutrition security. Food and nutrition are two sides of the same coin. How many of you have gone through the National Food Security Act? Anil, do you have? Do you know that the Food Security Act? <laughs> and put that to to get the Food Security Act in place, the coalition had made a lot of sacrifice and a lot of effort. And those days, food coalition was not there. Coalition was an informal gathering of people. Today, you have got uh, Saurav, um, Subra. I always confuse. <laughs> Subra, uh, 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 those days we used to like like him. There are many people, and uh, Dr. Swaminathan was leading. In fact, and uh, uh, you have got a new board member now, Dr. Sarla Gopalan, uh, was the former Secretary of Women and Child Development. She was one of the leaders in pushing <coughs> pushing this agenda up. That when we talk about food security, you cannot. Eat. Forget about nutrition. Nutrition is an essential aspect of food. Mm. So that, uh, and today it is now, it has become a part of the policy. <coughs> and uh, so therefore, we, this coalition has got a twin role, food security role and nutrition security role. So we have to think beyond what we are required to do under this uh, UNICEF project. So... Uh, and and, and in food, there are many things in food security. What are the kind of things that we are beginning to do, and what many things that we will be doing in future. So we'll be sharing that, and you will also hear from Mr. Sri Ram Singh that how we have uh, recently we have created a new vertical on, on food security vertical, the empowerment vertical, and then the nutrition program. And so I will not go on and on. Uh, but we'll uh, move to the uh, next item. I'll suggest you go to the understanding the mission goal. Huh, I think that's the best. Because Samir will join probably later. So obviously, we should just spend more time on mission goal and all that. Right. So now we start with uh, vision, mission, go. Yeah, yeah. Fifth uh, session. Yeah. So we'll go to uh, fifth session. But before that, do you, do you think that we should do a quick mapping like like you but, do? Uh, we need people, huh? Mapping with them or mapping with the coalition partner organization? No, no, mapping with our staff. What is their uh, what is their expectation from these two days? From these two days, uh -huh. I was talking about the no, no, no. CFNS. No. Okay, that we can do. Yeah, why not? Because they should know what they uh, are in here for two days. Two days. Uh -huh. Other than the trouble they are going through. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think let's spend some time on you know our uh, basically. Verbalizing our, you know, expectations of these two days uh, interaction that we have. Okay, I'll write. Yeah. Sure. So, quite a chill morning, and uh, but warm ideas. So basically, just spend time each one individually. What is that you think we should be doing in these two days? So what should doing, and what do you expect as an outcome? That end of the day when we are leaving this room. So what are the takeaways that you expect? And let's try, we'll try to meet it in the two days. Right? So am I clear what you have to say? So what are your expectations from these two days? Oh, sure. bilingual. We are supposed to, because we are required to deliver in English. We'll write report in English. Okay. We'll speak in English. We'll deliver it with people in English. So this is not a community meeting where we will say that Hindi uh, yeah, I mean, so think every, everybody understands their English. Better say Hindi. Hindi to baat karte hain. Hamara language Hindi hai. Yeah, Okay, say so no problem. Ha, Hindi to kar sakte ho. जो भाषा सही लगे आप बोल सकते हो दूसरे को भी दूसरे को भी समझ में आनी चाहिए इतनी आपसे अपेक्षा है तो मैं पेन लाऊंगा ठीक है सो आपसे आप जो भी अपेक्षा रखते हैं इन दो दिन के जो हम 
आपसे जो हम इंटरेक्शन करेंगे बातचीत करेंगे वो क्या है आपकी अपेक्षाएं आप क्या है और ये भी बताए स्पष्ट रूप से कि जब दो दिन खत्म होगा तो जो यहाँ से टेक अवे क्या उम्मीद रखते हैं ये चीजें हमें पता चलनी चाहिए जब यहाँ से चले तो एक रास्ता दिखे या कुछ भी पता नहीं तो ये है तो कहा शुरू करें और एक बोर्ड वाइट बोर्ड करना चाहिए अच्छा इस पर शुरू करना चाहिए हाँ रूम में पहले वही आया थे तो उनसे ही बात किया जाता है स्पीयर हेड सो दे आर वॉक अड एंड प्रॉब्ली नहीं आप तो भी डील तो हम भी करते हैं सभी करते हैं यार ठीक है एक एक्सपेक्टेशन एक दायरा है अपने क्षेत्र में हर एक का अपना अपना एक दायरा है आपका दायरा थोड़ा बड़ा है क्योंकि हर जगह आप जाते हो जो एक जगह पे आप पांच जगह मिलते हो तो ऐसा नहीं है लोग से डील करने के लिए कोलिशन है ना कोलिशन तो केवल एक ऐसी संस्था तो नहीं है जो कि अपने रूम में कमरे में बैठ करके और मंथन चिंतन करता रहे कोलिशन इसलिए है क्योंकि कोलिशन नाम ही बताता है कि हम मिल करके संस्थाएं में मिलकर काम करते हैं राइट उनकी जो अपेक्षा है उनकी जो प्राप्त करना चाहते हैं उसको मदद करने के लिए काम करते हैं सो वी आर ऑल टूगेदर इन टू इट अदरवाइज वी आर मीनिंग सो ओके लेट स्टार्ट विल स्टार्ट विथ संजीव आई थिंक ही इज आर सीनियर मोस्ट एस पी ओ एंड मोर एक्सपीरियंस प्रॉब्लम लेट हिम गाइड उसके लिए तो फिर हमें सारा बीस दिन बैठना पड़ेगा दो दिन में, दो क्या, दिन में क्या चाहिए दो दिन में हम क्या क्या उम्मीद रखते हैं कि यहाँ चाहे तो हमें जवाब मिलना चाहिए फूड एंड न्यूट्रिशन खाद्य और पोषण में जो पॉलिसी संबंधित है और प्रैक्टिस संबंधित है कम से कम ब्रीफली बता दिया जाएगा तो हमको भी बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग सो बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑन फूड एंड न्यूट्रिशन पॉलिसीज एंड प्रैक्टिस एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ पॉलिसीज एंड प्रैक्टिस ऑन फूड एंड न्यूट्रिशन राइट दूसरा है कि वी हैव टू मैंडेट्स जैसे प्रोग्राम डिलीवरी की बात कर रहे हैं और ऑर्गेनाइजेशन मैंडेट्स की बात है तो वो व्हाट आर द उन्हें व्हाट इज द व्हाट इज द तो प्रोग्राम मैंडेट एंड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन मैंडेट सी एफ एन एस का है वो क्या है आ, तो उसके बारे में कुछ बुलेट पॉइंट ही पता चल जाए ताकि रेस्पेक्टिव स्टेट ऑफ चार्टर जो है उसके ऊपर काम करें ओके क्लैरिटी ऑफ मैंडेट द क्लैरिटी ऑफ मैंडेट बेसिकली प्रोग्राम एंड ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल राइट दोनों चीजें पूछ रहा है ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल भी और प्रोग्राम के भी ओके डन थ्री थिंग्स एनीथिंग एल्स बोलिए फिर पॉलिसीज वगैरह तो है आप जो समझ रहे दोनों एक चीज नहीं है सर नहीं मतलब किस पॉलिसी अकाउंटिंग पॉलिसी ये जो पॉलिसी तो बोलो भैया वही क्योंकि ऑर्गेनाइजेशन पॉलिसी इज अ वेरी वेरी ब्रॉड थिंग इट मे नॉट पास ओनली एच आर एन ऑट He talks about everything, the work and everything. जो तुमने पहले बोला वो भी तो organizational policy में ही आ जाता है. Okay, rules, rules, organizational policy, rules. Okay, okay. Hello, excuse me, sir. Yeah. Hello. Uh, sir, namaskar. This is Sabati Singh from IDA Kemuja. Ah, uh, welcome, welcome. Uh, sir, I I want to give some input to this uh, program. Okay, please. Uh, we are expecting you in the opening session. Hello. Sir, uh, we are not able to hear you. Yeah, sir, so, 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 so,
Okay. We are not able to hear you at all. Just, just, just a minute, yeah. Sir, just I want to say something. Ah, so please, please go ahead. Uh, yeah. So uh, one of my expectation is, uh, uh, Prusti sir discussed regarding the millet and supplementary program in uh, supplementary nutrition program with the ICDS level. Uh, so I just uh, uh, want to give some input. Can we take some pilot? fields in the partners with the partners level and uh, we have our own policy and if uh, uh, we have we should have a baseline uh, with CFNS regarding the partners uh, uh, programmatic partners program on your plan and uh, CFNS your plan if we emerge the two year plans then uh, I think this will be better for CFNS and uh, partner organizations. And uh, if there will be some um, plans for the program visibility, like climate, uh, um, Pushti sir already discussed regarding millet and climate. If uh, some specific uh, plan will be emerged, then it will be better, I think. And yeah. uh, this is, yeah. Those are very good suggestions, madam. Mm -hmm. I think uh, Sanjeev is here. Uh, I, we are um, requesting Sanjeev to uh, extend the discussion with you. Uh, both the ideas are important. Uh, in fact, uh, <clears throat> thank uh, both Millet as well as aligning the organization, the partner organization programming uh, process and CFNS programming process. We'll see what the alignment can take place and what are those few things that can uh, be done together. So Sanjeev will discuss with you and Sanjeev will uh, come up with a, a clear cut uh, plan with you, uh, with IDA, and we'll try to find out where the resource, uh, required resource uh, for that purpose will be able to mobilize. Because we have to go to a donor uh, for money also. When we start, <coughs> we start identifying what can be done together then we'll go for finding money. So that uh, identification of idea, developing the idea into a project, that Sanjay, Sanjeev and uh, you will have to uh, work together and uh, head office, our head office will support in terms of perfecting it and making it a fundable proposition. Okay. So, okay, thank you. Sanjeev, thank you. Haji, Haji Sheet, have you gone to Tunjar? No. Have you not visited? No. You have to visit all the partners one by one. Huh? You have gone to several. Okay. Yeah, that's is, should it be all right, madam? It's okay, sir. sir. We have already conducted a uh, nutrition study in our field. So if Sanjeev uh, will come to our uh, area and I will share that study with the state office and also with the CFNS uh, so that it will help us to move forward. Yeah, it will be very welcome, very useful. And we'll also, uh, we are doing something very interesting in Madhya Pradesh. We'll like to share those learnings to, with you. And uh, you probably could think about replicating it in your, your area, tribal area, because the uh, kind of uh, system, uh, the agroclimatic zone that uh, the Madhya Pradesh study is being taking place. And the, the, your area, I see a lot of similarities. So that shows an opportunity. I think uh, going with that, probably should ask the other uh, yes, yes. partners also to share a few words before we proceed. Yeah. Like Pratima ma'am and uh, Kuntalika yeah. ma'am. Good morning. Uh, thank you, Pussy sir, and uh, good morning to everyone. Uh, I'm very happy to be part of this important discussion today. The whole world is celebrating. Uh, there is a lot of uh, feast and joy and uh, energy in the environment. So it's a very good day to think about uh, the collaboration and partnership with CFNS and WHH in Madhya Pradesh particularly. So my expectation with today's meeting is to, uh, I would really like to learn and understand uh, more about CFNS. Uh, also uh, would like to share uh, how WHH is actually uh, working in Madhya Pradesh and how together collaboratively we can set up the we can come up with a joint action plan or a, 
uh, you know, action plan to support the coalition activities in Madhya Pradesh. So my expectation with these two days meeting is to uh, understand uh, the organizations first, understand the uh, what do we mean by the host organization when we say or uh, my role, particularly the WHS role in Madhya Pradesh to support uh, this partnership and collaboration. And second important expectation is to also develop a, a kind of a calendar or a milestone or a, a you know yearly uh, initiative plan for Madhya Pradesh chapter. Uh, so these are my expectations. Thank you. I wish to join in person the next time whenever we are meeting. Uh, so I would I would love to be part. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. And now, now I think so we can hear from Kuntalika, madam. Uh, yeah, good morning, everyone. Uh, very cold, good morning. <laughs> Delhi is really cold. Uh, so, good morning. Uh, can be warm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a warm morning. Let it be cold outside the weather. <laughs> oh, inside the room it is warm. Huh? It is warm. It is warm. Warmer. No, no. Pushti sir's presence is making it warmer. <laughs> okay. So I was just thinking since it's an orientation for the uh, SPOs as well as the mentor organization. I thought if we can also, by the end of the two days, uh, set up a strategy for engaging in a state uh, mentored by the partner organization, but also strengthening the coalition in the state. So what kind of strategy and action that the SPOs need to take, do, act to make this happen. So I would be very happy if by the end of the two days that clarity is developed. So yeah, that's if I understand correctly, I'm writing strategy for action for SPOs to strengthen these state chapters. State chapters. Very good. Thank you, Kuntalayaji. We are required to meet you. Yes. <laughs> We need to have a meeting uh, for many things. Yeah, so yeah. next week we can plan if you are around in Delhi. Yeah, sure. I'll yeah. talk to you about it. <laughs> okay. Every time I come to the office, I ask Manisha, what happened? Then she was <laughs> still working on so we do that. Yeah. Okay. Um, then uh, Pradeep. Pradeep Mahapatra from Udyam. What are your expectations sir namaskar namaskar it's better i should hear from cfns people what they are planning first okay then you have to pay patiently but here. i think members first so <laughs> cfns no, no, members first members first is you know, what the members think CFNS is CFNS does what member wants it to do. So we are a coalition organization. So we believe in members first. So first your mandate, and we'll we'll make it our mandate. So I think we'd like to hear from you. No, that's it. That's it. You should put it in the reverse. <laughs> no, it is bottom of putting the down. cart before the horse. It's, 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 it's not it's not bottom of sir. It's you know this is the it's a holistic and it's interconnected. I, rather I should hear from. Experts okay. and its professionals, they are how they are thinking for this community or this farming community or food systems. Okay, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. We will then please join, continue to join us, and uh, there will be a lot of internal discussion. Uh, so you are free to listen to all the discussion as uh, and then we will, uh, I think, we will come back. Okay. Then uh, Pratibhaji from Child Fund India, Pratibha Pandey. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so, so good. Uh, good morning. Uh, I also feel that through this we should be, uh, how, uh, how, uh, the food and nutrition, uh, security is going to be, uh, repositioned, uh, in the states, in next four to five years, uh, that would be, uh, 
would be my expectation or other expectation I think uh, people have already covered. So advocacy part of it, if we can bring it and we are clear by day two, uh, it would be helpful. Uh, I understood properly. You are one, uh, expecting that we should uh, come out clearly with respect to the advocacy agenda of yes. safety, food and nutrition security. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, very good. Anybody else is there? Any member of nation? We have not uh, talked to or has not talked to us. Anyone else we have? No, no. Okay, so the whatever is written in this, these are our members' expectations, and this red are our staff expectations, colleagues' expectations. So we'll continue with this expectation. Anything else? I think. Uh, yeah, we we'll, 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 we have just uh, yeah, we've done only one. Oh, at yeah. Telangana, we have done. No, we have not. No, no, Telangana, what is that? You are running ahead. What is that? What is that? We have done. Yeah. Role and responsibilities of the SPO. What is the role we are playing different than them? Okay. And the agenda we are going to pursue, not the project. Project, we are working with them. No, agenda will pursue. Within the agenda, project, because project so is giving us money. He is asking what is the agenda that SQOs will pursue there yeah. in the state. Okay, right. Yeah. Because programs is known that you are yeah. doing. But he is saying that what is specific agenda? What she was also asking, you know, what is the agenda? And probably advocacy or something, whatever it is. Yeah. That something stated so that they know that this is what they have to do. Or some clarity. So is responsible to SQO, agenda to pursue. Yeah. Uh, and the stakeholders role as well. Role and responsibility of the SQO as well as the Partner organization. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Next. Odisha and over. What is that? It yeah. looks horrible. Huh? Role of hosting organization. Bupesh. Hmm. Okay. Or Kuch? <laughs> role of role of hosting organization to take our or Kuch? Yeah, clear Kada Bakitan Jaga. As a Baki may be tick mark hai, because you don't know the priority is Maggie. <laughs> then this is he added. So, 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 bold, though, na, so that we know ki this is red line, underline. I did add Kurdia. Repeat Kurda, why? Repeat Kurna, see you attack, eight cheese for pass of chate, eight cheese for toro chate. So pass for that, Samadia Jana. Otherwise, this becomes okay, figure. Also, the expectation of the organization policies, as well as Kachar, as well as Gats. Uh, okay. HR, 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 HR policies. Policies. So, okay, good. Okay. Chali ji. Aur kuch nahi hai? Chhattisgarh. Bhaiya, Ranchi ke ho tum yar. Khanchi bhar leke aana chahiye agenda. Ye Ranchi ka tumhara Ranchi wala hai. Bitha hai. Isko pata nahi hoga. Hai? Pata nahi hai. Pata hai? Pata hai. Chal. Bhai ke aap. Tumhari khanchi khali hai. Okay, ma'am. Yeah. As I joined recently, so all the points have been written on the board. My queries are lot, but somehow queries are lot. Mm -hmm. Ah, lot. So please tell. So I'm just asking because yeah. all the points have been written on the board. So my queries are like this only. So one uh, thing I request you: uh, mm -hmm. some of our students should come and sit over there in the middle. My sit over there. Can you just uh, partner, so I need, uh, Sachin, please uh, complete. Stop your uh, laptop. This is 
when we are in one meeting we will not get into another meeting please everyone should stop their whatsapp and stop their laptop yeah because so this is quality of engagement will be what we make it here if you do not make it a qualitative engagement then it will remain just a pass it's not good yeah please shut down your phone or keep it there because i have this is a very serious feedback that has come also to me that sir aap log ka meeting hota hai meeting mein 100% attention nahi hota hai ha ji ma'am bolte hain laptop band kar do note karo because this is the point which is uh, uh, directly meant for you yeah i'm just thinking actually that we can no that is all right but uh, why do the point is that why are you getting into your laptop chale chale okay go ahead go ahead Hmm. so that means uh, uh, besides the, that means what we have to do is that theek hai hum virtual orientation dete in person orientation dete but there is a need for field jaake on on the ground our headquarters uh, staff also should go and sit down and uh, discuss see the understand the problems mm. and understand the situation and guide what is to be done so that will help in developing better clarity this is the point so that means uh, uh, hq team to visit the field we have discussed also. actually what she made if i understood correctly she meant that you know senior people should come there i think that has got two objectives if i understand correctly one is obviously if you are coming there i get you know motivated and boosted and all that there is your learning and all that plus actually the visibility people coming there so others also realize he is not or he is not alone there are there is an organization behind otherwise you are left alone to fend for yourself that probably syndrome will uh, be solved to a great extent hmm. but still there is some issues like uh, i believe you said uh, last uh, रोल एंड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ योर्स एंड पार्टनर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड ऑब्वियसली दोस्ट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आगे का क्या प्लान इंटरेस्टिंग दिस इज ए वेरी correct observation because this of type of observation had come from some other states in the past also i need to see. so i'll put it in position recently we had a meeting in manisha and sachin had a meeting with uh, our donor uh, you know the funding is coming from cif but it is coming through unicef so unicef is our partner organ and donor partner who is monitoring implementing the organization so we are primarily responsible to unicef so the and unicef state office was supposed to be a part of the <coughs> total work uh, so they had visited unicef and we had a there is the program manager is dr samir power even samir power has also offered that when you go to the field if necessary i'll also go and so uh, because unicef is also big organization they have, they say that we also offer autonomy to our states so sometimes there is a, a, a dynamics between the headquarter manager and state manager like we experienced in odisha what will uh, the delhi tells the odisha guy will say no this is a bug and all that what is that dynamics we don't have to get into that but the point is that how we bring anal alignment so uh, this is a point which is which is very correct and this observation is coming from more than one state uh, and uh, because they don't know what we have to do with cfns uh, what is cfns act because cfns ka jo project hai it is not activity based project it is a process it is a process so in the process they get lost activity karna hai output they are very comfortable so ye isko humko samajhna padega so next time uh, sachin goes or manisha goes to uh, we have headquarter mein hum teen manager uh, say um, manisha manisha is knowledge manager uh, for the program manager and is your hr administration and finance manager so all of them will one after the other will go and visit states so they it is their mandate 
and especially the program manager will not only the visit states he visits districts because our work is uh, the districts so he will visit also district so and aapko bhi karna hai so basically you have to create the the mahol ko create karna padega ye aapko sath sathe and then the, the other help that is likely to come to you is from your host organization why you have created the host organization when you talk to the roles responsible roles are that we'll talk but host organization objective is that that organization is a very established organization in the state they understand the the ecosystem development ecosystem i think so on this state. we have a session no host organization yeah. on that I mean, so let's because it's because it's just so host organization kya hai they no so unke sath rehna aur mentor mentor ka bhi role hai because mentor is a experienced person is a leader by uh, his or her uh, own standing so so become they are become the pro bono colleagues of yours so when manager goes the unicef manager goes uh, you take guidance from your uh, mentor your host organization managers because you are located there so you will get those input and then start addressing the issue hello ek bada zaruri hai ki हम आप लोग को ये एक फूड एंड न्यूट्रिशन सिनेरियो ऑफ द स्टेट आपको समझना पड़ेगा आप लोग को हर हर एसपीओ को एक प्रेजेंटेशन बनाना पड़ेगा प्रिपेयर ए स्टेट एंड स्टेट ऑफ स्टेट ऑफ फूड एंड न्यूट्रिशन इन योर स्टेट एंड संजीव हेट ऑन इट फॉर ओडिशा in fact it is started with that because the host organization this this we did us in one of our uh, the induction program the the head of the host organization he said that the first step is to prepare the a, a presentation let him spend one week in understanding meeting people and develop a presentation to share with this state of food and nutrition security in odisha and that will set the tone for further action and he did that so my suggestion is that in each other states also we will try to do that so so aapka ho gaya i think uh, yeah bhupesh wanted to say something kuch chhut gaya tha sir ye chhut gaya tha jab district level mein traveling hum karne jaate hain aur are ye same hai kya tha ki aapne dikha raha hu to wahan par to dc hai rajasthan mein dc hote hain baki jagah dm hote hain aur wahan se kisi aur bhi senior person ko jaate hain तो वो डिमांड करते हैं कि स्टेट के तरफ से कोई लेटर अपॉर्चुनिटी आना चाहिए ताकि हम आपको कोई डाटा या कोई इंफॉर्मेशन शेयर कर सकें इस चीज को मैंने शेयर किया था और ये चीज को वहां पर डिमांड कर तो यूनिसेफ की तरफ से या सीएफएनएस की तरफ से ऐसा कुछ होना चाहिए ताकि जिस डिस्ट्रिक्ट में हम लोग जाके विजिट करने के लिए वहां पर डीसी लेवल पर या सीएस लेवल पर जो है चीफ सर्जन जो होते हैं उनके लेवल पर ये लेटर जाना चाहिए कि वो किस पर होगा कि आई एस सीएफएनएस या काम कर इसमें हमारा अच्छा रहेगा कि लेवल पर भी जाते हैं या हम के पास जाते हैं तो वो ये चीज नहीं 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 पर बट यू डू नॉट हैव योर कार्ड और समथिंग जी जी कार्ड हम देते हैं अच्छा मानते वो मानते हैं कभी कभी लेकिन वो बोलते हैं कि हमारे पास कोई लेटर सॉल्व द प्रोसेस आई डोंट थिंक हैज हाँ सी एफ एन एस नहीं कर सकते सपोज आई टू डू that uh, any program that you start in any state we go to the government and request for a time to make a presentation that what is cfns and what you wants to do in your state so wo presentation hum karenge to kuch meaning hoga that will be the beginning wo presentation ka time bhi nahi dega usse reflecting on how i connect to At that time, we were not entertaining what the PPT did. Hardly, we were trying to find out what was going on. 
But the letters you are saying from the government, what I can say is I did not issue written uh, any issue from the government, but on my <laughs> letter then, I got this letter that this this, this particular task is done for only this, this person and you will give this information only to this specific purpose. That should be signed by by either Ramla Jamla or some very senior from the uh, uh, CFNS. I hope uh, you know when we move to that process, uh, then the somebody in the uh, department at the room will keep keep information. They do present it, present it. This is how I had collected the information during my PhD, and it was all important. It was a national policy document. So I think that letter can work because yeah. we are not uh, that yeah. does work. So the CFNS ke letter hai pe hum signature karate kisi government senior, but not our signatures, but somebody senior. That can work. Yeah. I think uh, that can work. That works when I was trying to meet the commissioner for the LP languages. So when uh, the letter was sent from here uh, with the signature of Ramarathna, I got to meet him in person. So that did work. But no, you no, mean that, so that he, the person knew Jamla sir? No it's, sir, it's, it's about the... It's, uh, the position of the government official. It's about the credibility, sir. It's about the credibility. Nain, but letter is signed by a person, but did they write anything of his credential? No. Sir, I retired IS. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, you know, as a country director is writing to uh, uh, secretary or someone else, maybe chief secretary or yeah, food secretary, stating that you know my state had or someone was going to speak to regarding that the purpose, please allow him and attract him and provide all the information. That's all. That and also if required, we can say that uh, CNFS uh, she is also working with closely with UNICEF or other organizations in the state. So basically, the introductory letter basically, yeah. from head, introductory head office, letter from introductory letter from CFNS head office will go to introduce you to say that and isko milna hai, senior government official ko jayega. And then the next step will be that when you meet, you can say that, sir, I'll make a presentation. You give me some time and all that. Then you describe and when they see that how CFNS is structured, there are people from the government in the board. Then they will see that uh, CFNS works with the government in designing policies, strategies. So they will say, ah, this is organization with whom we should work. So that is the relationship we will build. And besides that, your rapport. That rapport. depends on the person also. Person. He is building a relationship with different uh, state government officials. So only, so that is the way we have to make an inroad. It depends. A lot of things depend. And suppose the Telangana me then if Sabya calls up somebody or uh, uh, Ravindra, uh, Ravindra calls up somebody, then it has to so, Because they know what is Vasan. Vasan is uh, not only known in the state, but also in the country and uh, uh, in, the, in the worldwide for its pioneering work. So when it's you of Vasan calls, people will show a lot of respect and uh, so importance. And make sure with the letter, we can, uh, with the other SPs, we can have some data study that we can receive and it's all about the coalition. Huh? 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 And then we can attach something. Maybe you can have a folder, something like two, three pages, which talks about CFS, its program activities, who are on the board, something like that, you know, which establishes the credentials of the organization and its uh, priorities huh? and activities. Uh, which they can take and they can carry a letter to whomsoever made a concern because every time you cannot write a different letter no? and that gives your credential the name and all that and this is so like that so let's design it a, a folio which has a letter and a two three page you know write up on the csn right? oh, nicely done can I come in here for a minute yeah please who's yeah 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 please please uh, i was just saying at the same time what happens the host organizations are also known to many of these uh, people whom one needs to approach. So it is also good sometimes if the host organization also takes them to introduce them and then there onwards they can create the relationship, introduce the FNS, the kind of work and everything because they already are in touch and in the network of those people. So that's again another option where they uh, tag along the same CFNS person with that organization, host organization, which is already known to them. So that's another positive uh, way to uh, go about it. Right. I just thought. Right. 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 Right.
uh, those that that's that's that is the kind of things that we should do. Yeah, that is the whole purpose of having this host organization and mentor. Right, right. I mean, in fact, identity yeah. card getting in, it's always will be difficult. If you go and one point of time you go and collect data, it is one. But I think it is more intensive relationship that we are going to create. Where somebody who has already established relationship, we should use them and you uh, know tag along with them and make that happen. Like Pradhan, Pradhan is the host for two states. Pradhan yeah. has a very credible presence in the states. Yes. So mm -hmm. when uh, someone from Pradhan speaks, and then in the communication also will mention that uh, in in uh, Jharkhand, Pradhan is our host agency. Mm -hmm. Will write and then uh, so you know take an inroad. There are many ways to make inroads. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, Thank you, Kundalikaji. This is very useful. Okay. So Abka Hoya. Yeah, no, one and two. No, Madam Kaho. Yeah. Madam. My first topic is already covered. Uh, one was understanding how can we collaborate better with the government. So that is one. Uh, and also collaborate with other developing agencies. For example, when NP outage is conducted now, I think there can be a follow up meeting as well. No, we can discuss further. But how to do that? I think we can build on that. So, how to strengthen our collaboration? Collaboration with other organizations. How to build and strengthen? Yes. Strengthen collaboration. Those development actors. And when you say development actors, it is not only NGOs, it is also CSR. CSR. Government is a development actor, NGO is a development actor, CSR is also a development actor. And among the NGOs, local NGOs, national NGOs, and international NGOs. All are, please be very clear on that. Yes. And sir, uh, if there is any possibility where we can also take the background of the previous, done by, uh, previous work that was done in the One is that uh, background of previous work done, that information sharing. Yeah. That means whatever was there with CFNS, so that information must be shared. Program manager must uh, try to dig out what are the previous <coughs> information, share it with the states uh, with respect to the previous work. And this is an important point you said, uh, how you meant. Uh, I found a lot of sense that uh, the development our, our members or our partner organization in that state, what are their previous work? Mm -hmm. So they might get um, um, very positive about those work. Mm -hmm. Like suppose in MP we go and we, when you say that our WHH is our member and do the WHH has done this work, mm -hmm. so they get, or we'll say organization X, Y, Z, they have done this work. So they might, oh, this is the coalition, this is the work they have done. So they take interest. Mm -hmm. So therefore, it is important to know that who are our members in the state. We have got, till now, we have got uh, how many members? 40, 48? <coughs> huh? 41. 41 members. So many of these members have also operation in the states. So please collect or know, try to know that who are these, our members, already existing members, have operations in the state. So you contact that state office offices, or the head office will help to reach out to those state offices and all that. Some organization may not be having any program, many office there, but they have a program. Our program might have been completed, but through the head office, you can also know about that. So you can share those information with the stakeholder, with the policy makers, or the, the government, especially the government or the donor organization. Because same thing will also apply to donor organizations. There are big donor, big CSR actors are there. So when you, when you go, you will same way, you will get only 10, 10 minutes, not more than 10 minutes to where you go and meet the president of a big CSR. Tata Tata Steel. Tata Steel ke CSR head ko line appointment So, crisp 
in a very succinct way you have to make a presentation or make it everything so you have to be very very effective in in communicating with the development actors also anything else so you try to know who are the member organization what they do and try to meet them the primary duty will be that first let me reach out to my member organization in the state huh? yes uh, on this i wanted to add what has come to my notice in uh, the past years is that when we're talking about the development organizations so it was uh, quite the uh, the entertaining one but when we talk about the csr so in that sense also some very senior should send the letter so that our rescue can be done because what has come to me is that you know they have been kept in for example they have gone to some of the organizations and uh, it has not resulted in anything because their presence is not going to make an impact so but once they have a letter in their hand which is signed by and then you know uh, that communication is built up and then they can go and then so yeah i will take it because very soon you will have your co co will write all these things but this is a this is a built, built in time we are still building the organization so you will go all those things so board will not get engaged with all these things uh, in course of time you'll see that uh, board will uh, distance because board is not supposed to get engaged in the operation so that will so gradually it will happen so but till that time you can use there is no restriction or no um order for any senior person writing a letter but a letter need to be go need to be sent so that flag has to come so they will not dream mr borwa will not dream that i have to write a letter to xyz so manish has to tell ki sir ek letter chahiye sachin has to tell sir ek letter chahiye aapko bolna padega ki bhai ek letter in headquarters se aa jayega to acha hoga so letter will go nobody will hesitate to send a letter <coughs> Uh, sir, uh, Anisha, you have any point? Control. No, I will talk first. Let me say one thing. Uh, one, uh, one thing I would try to समझे रहा. Role आप local port को ही तो notation है बल्कि आप समझे हैं. क्या समझा गया? क्या बोलिए आप बोलो. हाँ. Role of what? What is the role of uh, local port? अभी क्या? Parent food आ रहा है क्या? Food तो local जो. Yes, yes. Local port जो uh, ट्रेडिशनल I think local तो I will agree with Pushti sir. Foreign से तो आ नहीं रहा है local है. I think it is better to use traditional. Foreign क्या है? Palm oil है सब में. Traditional. बहुत सारे हैं. बहुत सारे हैं. Pulses भी importing. जो भी इंडिया में import कर रहे हैं. But ठीक है. You're right. Traditional I think is more important, especially uh, tribal pockets of Chhattisgarh, Odisha, Jharkhand. There is a lot to uh, work on that. मेरा लोकल फूड जैसे वहाँ की वेजिटेबल्स है फ्रूट है और और भी राजस्थान का या हम उसे टाइम मैनेजमेंट में कैसे इंक्लूड करें और वो सस्टेन और ज्यादा इंटर कैसे करें बिहेवियर चेंज कैसे वो कर बट ये दो दिनों में क्या चाहते हो दो दिन नहीं ये तो फिर आप ये तो यार ये तो ये तो आप सेफनेस के बस की बात नहीं है ना एक्चुअली इसके लिए तो आपको गवर्नमेंट से बात पी एच आप बदल तो सकते नहीं हो यू हैव टू वर्क पहले आपके जो कॉलेज पार्टनर साहब मिलकर काम करोगे एक दो साल लगेगा तो ये होगा बट वॉट इज दैट यू नीड इन दिस टू डेज मैं ये चाह रहा था कि लोकल को जो वहाँ पर लोकली ग्रो किया जाए उनको हम कैसे तो कैसे उसको इंक्लूड कराए टी एच आर में इसके लिए कोई स्ट्रेटेजी बने इसके ऊपर कुछ सोच सकते दो दिन का बट इम्पोर्टेंट बट भोपाल राउंड टेबल में एक बड़ा इंटरेस्टिंग ऑब्जर्वेशन 
उन्होंने जो टीएचआर सप्लाई चेन के ऊपर काम किए हैं दैट गिव मी लॉट ऑफ फूड फॉर थॉट एंड लास्ट टू डेज आई हैव बीन थिंकिंग अबाउट इट इन फैक्ट एंड दिस इज न्यू प्रोग्राम डब्ल्यू एस का एक नया प्रोग्राम है इट्स ओनली सिक्स सेवन मंथ्स ओल्ड प्रोग्राम एंड देव जस्ट बिगन टू एड्रेस द इशू बट महाराष्ट्र में इशू है कि दिस सोर्स ऑफ प्रोडक्शन इज सिंगल तो एक एक फैक्ट्री से लेके डिस्ट्रीब्यूट करो विच प्रिंसिपली आई एम लिटिल नॉट वेरी कंफर्टेबल बिकॉज द डिसेंट्रलाइज मॉडल विल ब्रिंग द ट्रेडिशनल एस्पेक्ट और द लोकल फ्लेवर एस्पेक्ट टू दिस थिंग तो वेर एज इन मध्य प्रदेश वी हैव गॉट मल्टीपल सोर्सेज मल्टीपल प्लेसेस वेर दी टी एस आर इज प्रोड्यूस इन ओडिशा देर आर सेवरल प्लेसेस वेर टी एस आर इज बीन प्रोड्यूस बाई दी एस एच इज बट द काइंड ऑफ वर्क झारखंड ऑल्सो द काइंड ऑफ सप्लाई चेन एफिशियंसी इम्प्रूवमेंट वर्क दैट इज बीन अटेम्प्टेड इन महाराष्ट्र आई थिंक वी शुड स्टार्ट लुकिंग एट इट मनीषा थोड़ा उसको स्टडी करने के लिए हम ये करेंगे अरे ऑयल ऑयल प्रोक्योरमेंट ऑयल यू नो I worked in the oil industry for many years, uh, too. And uh, when I started, हमने ऑयल का एक स्टडी किया था जिसमें हमको पता लगा था कि नियरली नाइंटी परसेंट ऑफ दी ऑयल दैट वॉज अवेलेबल इन द मार्केट इन दोज डेज आई एम टॉकिंग वो एटीज वॉज अडल्टेड सो बट आज वो सिचुएशन नहीं है बट how do you procure is important how do what are the what quality standards saying? in the procurement how does that travel you know deteriorate the <laughs> quality of oil i am not able to understand because it takes so long of time so how long sir uh, see uh, because <coughs> mk is a huge place it's no. like the second largest state right agree how many uh, the production is in devar right but it has to travel to different uh, places which is very okay. far away. okay okay and then when it travels But I know that what is the oil. shelf life of oil? I am talking about oil or something else. No, I am talking about the oil. That oil, is will oil will not get deteriorated in such a you know even one month or two months. Nothing will happen. Oil can so shelf life both. Uska shelf life both lamma hai, boy. If you are talking about with the period free fatty acid actually grows in oil, mm-hmm. so that happens over a period of something like six six months. you have to refine it re refine it because the free fatty acid content has gone it become rancid smell and all that but oil ko ye us saal lagte hai usko kharab hone mein aap ye usse kuch hone wala nahi hai so which means the quality of oil ah, why it was bad it is nothing to do with the travel so that means it is wrong procurement quality takes to kharab tel hi kharch kar diya hai wo ऑलरेडी रैंसिड ऑयल खरीद करके बांट रहा है तो उसका ये आप लॉजिक से कोई इशू लेना नहीं है अरे साल नहीं लगेंगे ना प्रोडक्शन के लिए साल तो नहीं लगेंगे वो अलग चीज है ना आई एम टॉक अबाउट क्वालिटी ऑफ ऑयल आई एम जस्ट टॉक अबाउट नथिंग एल्स एंड देन दिस का एडमिशन होता है और आई थिंक 4 मास 3 से 4 महीने का एडमिशन होता है और आई थिंक बनने से लेकर पहुंचने तक 1 महीना के अंदर में वो पहुंच जाता है एज पर जो नीड रहता है जो वहां पर डाटा का जो प्रोसेस है और कोई भी चीज को वो लोग देखते हैं और अगर जब तक एक्सपायर होने तक वो लोग ये बात हो जाएगा हां तो वो चीज को रिटर्न बैक कर दिया जाता है और बता देता है लेकिन वो नहीं नहीं इसमें क्या है कि जो टीएचआर जो बनाता है जो एसएचजी बनाते मैन्युफैक्चर करती है वो वहीं पे स्टोरेज में ये तो देर फॉर क्वालिटी स्टैंडर्ड व्हेन आई एम रेफरिंग टू दैट डब्ल्यू एच एस एस वर्क इन महाराष्ट्र ऑल दीज एस्पेक्ट हैव बीन फैक्टर्ड इन दैट वर्क तो देर फॉर आई एम वेरी क्लीन दैट लेट एस लुक एट इट systematically and we will be able to create a good knowledge product of on supply chain management of tsr and hemang mentioned that today
Sachin, what are your expectations out of these two days? Um, my expectation is we already on national level the kaafi sare projects ko push karne ki koshish kar rahe hain to state level pe bhi kuch resource mobilization ke liye kuch projects ko push kiya jaye taki sustainable cfns ka gathan kiya ja sake second mera ye hai ki sabhi spos acche tarike se cfns ko samjhe do din ke liye aaye hue hain and jo bhi unke doubts hain wo puch le and तीसरा मेरा ये है कि सभी एसपीओ जब यहाँ से निकले तो एकदम मोटिवेटेड हो गया अपने स्टेट्स में जाए ताकि वो लगकर अपना काम कर सके तो वन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इज दैट हाउ वी गो स्पिरिटेड मोटिवेटेड होके स्पिरिटेड होके जाएंगे विथ विद काइंड ऑफ थिंग यस दीज आर ऑल वेबल एंड आई कैन डू इट एंड माई प्लेस एंड आई कैन शो ए गुड प्रैक्टिस आई कैन शो ए रिजल्ट मोटिवेटेड एंड एक्चुअली working towards the mandate and whatever the mandate that we see so everybody should actually absorb it fully and yahan se chale to puri energy ke sath jaykar ek sath chale ki kuch karna hai yahi kahna chahte the na dumma chahte so it didn't exclude anybody it includes all of us are in it and actually to do it okay and then very good point he also mentioned all in fact all three points are very powerful the other point he said that hum to national office mein dhakka marte project ke liye and all that but state may be is equally dhakka marna chahiye for projects so that they get also energized for project development ka hamare session hai usme hum charcha karenge kaise project develop karna hai and all that i am going to moderate that session i have raised his hand ha so pradeep mahapatra he want to say something acha pradeep ji you wanted to say something ji A very good, uh, you know, interaction. This is I, I can say only this uh, few thoughts on the local. Huh. And the same the local food, it is uh, <coughs> we created at it is more than thousand villages during my Agra government days in eighty three. And it 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 was it was it was all total local. Now this is same tribal village. there is no same kind of seeds except few because this is the green revolution even if it is a few few more indigenous seeds that has already been it's varnished this is one local 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 partner and it is to whom you call this local partner because ernest young fmcg and its reliance they all are in local right now all this is known international organizations organizations they are working in the remote areas so you can find it there now this is this is the this is the partner local organizations to whom we call the local one is food one is the partner second thing that is local local uh, the host organization are you ready to sit with this local organizations share your emotion and bring their emotion yes okay Uh, those, those are very um, interesting points, and that always comes from a person like you who works on ground for all these years, thirty, uh, forty years you have worked, and uh, I personally get inspired by your work. Uh, I can tell you one thing, Pradeep, <coughs> that uh, there is an organization which has been recently set up by the government of India through an act of parliament, is to protect the seed varieties and gene protection, seed ownership. and uh, uh, we are uh, i was reading its mandate yesterday and i have passed it on to siram and uh, we are exploring if we can work with that authority uh, um, and to see that how this idea of gene protection and seed protection variety protection uh, can be done uh, can be strengthened at the community level because uh, the market Uh, the 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 invasion of the market is uh, is 
very very cruel on the local uh, seed system in fact a lot of people seeds are getting excreted and uh, new uh, varieties of seed are being uh, in, uh, in the market uh, uh, to, to take commercial advantage so therefore this authority is, uh, is a very uh, has got a very clear mandate to work on the uh, our protection of the traditional variety traditional seed system and all that so we will be uh, i think in course of time probably food and uh, safeness will be uh, working on this uh, seed system because seed system will be part of the local food system and you know that uh, anil is here from wasan wasan is also working on this uh, gene protection and uh, seed protection aspects so we should work in that, especially in the tribal areas is a very very important thing so pradeep uh, thank you very much yeah, it's, you know this is this is this is good good news but it's uh, more than 20 years back globally norway has preserved norway has set up this uh, seed bank which is the earth proof, proof cyclone proof disaster proof to protect the indigenous seed so this is uh, it's, uh, it's good news so after 20 years we are coming forward but it's, it's a program is okay but we should see the result and the impact certainly something will happen that is it may not be fake but it's a, the reality is the why government and other other countries are that might have understood the triple planetary crisis where biodiversity degradation is one of the major component to address the triple planetary crisis and it is the biodiversity is not only not only plant but it is, it is the seeds so this is the critical crucial and important aspect how to protect preserve and promote to 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 the uh, promote to and protect this indigenous seeds otherwise things will be very difficult thank you so much okay thank you thank you pradeep ji for this insight okay so probably it's time for this break before we get yeah. into the session yeah. 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 i think then we can be back Then it is, and I hope no one smokes. And abhi bara bhi so rahe hain, to bara bhi patal rahe hain. Jo bhi le kaaye, usse hum kaaye. Sir, what is the sir? What is the food today there? Huh? What is the food today there? I don't know. When food uh, is served, I'll know. So check it whether it is locally or this is imported. No, no, it's all all food is local, local, yeah. <laughs> We are not in a five-star hotel. No important. No, no. It's no. This so I I told you. It's no. This is the the so please think it seriously. Because this is, we are working with people those who are hungry, thirsty, and it is angry. Okay. So I wish you would have physically here and joined us in the food also. Okay. We are ten. Let, let let me know. Let me know once you eat it first. Yeah. Ten minutes break. तो थोड़ा रिलैक्सेशन फाइव टेन मिनट्स जितना हो गया हाँ हो गया म्यूट कर दो यहाँ पर आगे से बढ़िया से काम करेंगे कोई कंप्लेन नहीं आया
तो एचआर फाइनेंस का तो आपका सेशन है आप सेशन में बताओगे और शेयर करोगे जो जो डॉक्यूमेंट मेरा एक ऑब्जर्वेशन है ओवर आर्चिंग ऑब्जर्वेशन we have several things we might not have be having something like something we don't have we will build it we are building it building up so jitna hai usko bhi samajhna zaruri hai aur wo sab hamara bahut sare cheez hamara website mein hai nahi to website nahi hone se hamara written document hai which is available on soft copy which are also can be accessed there is a common uh, फोल्डर है कॉमन फोल्डर है यू कैन हैव योर पासवर्ड क्रिएटेड एंड यू कैन एक्सेस दैट कॉमन फोल्डर एंड गेट टू रीड दैट तो कोई डाउट हो तो कैन एक्सप्लेन यू कि भाई इसका क्या डाउट है दर पीपल हु लॉन्गर स्टेड इन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन लिट लॉन्गर और द मैनेजर इन चार्ज ऑफ दैट एबल टू हेल्प यू टू इंटरप्रिट की भाई इसका मतलब ये है और कुछ कुछ नई नई चीज जब आ रहा है रूटीन में तो जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल what should be our policy with respect to uh, missing flights hum flight pe ja rahe hum so gaye flight chala gaya to ab usme kya karenge kyunki organizer ne ek naya ticket khatna pada to uska kya interpret kare hamara auditor to puchega ki ek aadmi ka travel ke liye do baar ticket kyun khareeda to he is the person who is to, to answer that question so वो तो हजार क्वेश्चन पूछेंगे मैं उसको कैसे आंसर करूंगा एक आदमी का दो टिकट कैसे सर्व होगा तो इसलिए हमको आप वो पॉलिसी कैसे व्हाट वुड बी द रोल हमारा क्या नॉर्म होना चाहिए हाउ विल हैंडल इट वी विल ट्राई और बेस्ट नॉट टू मिस द फ्लाइट बट इवेंचुअली फ्लाइट मिस हो गया फॉर सम रीजन तो क्या कैसे उसको हम हैंडल करेंगे क्योंकि काम तो करना है ट्रेवल तो करना पड़ेगा तो कैसे हैंडल करेंगे वो इसको तो ये जो छोटी छोटी चीज विच विल कम इन कोर्स ऑफ टाइम बेस्ट ऑन एक्सपीरियंस हमारी पॉलिसी में मस्ट बी देयर ना इस पार्ट ऑफ पॉलिसी आई मीन देयर आर सर्टेन अथॉरिटी विच इज एक्चुअली हैविंग द पावर अथॉरिटी टू अप्रूव इट सो इट इट विल गो टू वाइस चेयरमैन टू अप्रूव यू नो आई मिस द फ्लाइट बिकॉज ऑफ एक्सपाइज common folder it is in i said in office i look at it but okay and so, how many this is a interesting observation and this how many months a months and years i have been telling years to aap log ko nahi ho to aap log but at least months how many months i have been telling create a folder if your storage capacity is low hire buy why it was not happening so those those are things that we have to tighten our belt and another thing let's recognize we have also very very lean structure we have only three people in the head office like you are one person in the state office we are three persons in the head, the head office so we are trying to do things and this is hamara resource padega we will have more people and then ultimately we want to be a very responsible resident organizers ये जैसे डाउट नहीं होगा बट इट्स नॉट कंप्लेनिंग अगेंस्ट एनी बडी बट अंडरस्टैंडिंग दी शॉर्टकमिंग्स हमारा ये गलती है हमको समझना जरूरी है और उसका सोल्यूशन निकालना जरूरी है और हमको देखना पड़ेगा कि वी एज फार एज पॉसिबल डोंट डोंट कमिट दैट और वी प्रिवेंट दैट काइंड ऑफ सिचुएशन सो दैट इज तो दैट इन योर सेशन यू विल हैंडल So now we'll talk to Manisha. I think it's done. It's done. It's done. You are the finance account man. Are you comfortable? Oh, you have no issue. No point. No point. There will be many points we will discuss in the in the session. In the periphery. No, no. Huh? <laughs> Or no, maybe in the periphery. <laughs> okay, good. Hello, thank you. I thought he'll tell. No, no. Very much. Okay, very much. Issue with accounts, money, and all that. I think. No, his very much point is. Sir, how can he pay? 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 How उसे बुक तो नहीं हो सकता है आप बोल देते हो कैसे करेंगे आप बोल देते हो कि ये आ, मेंटर आएंगे 
मेंटर का ट्रेवल का लिए थोड़ी बजट है सर दिस इज पार्ट ऑफ हम इंटरप्रिटेशन देने के लिए हम विल टेक दैट हिट विल गिव यू द अप्रूवल एंड विल टेक दैट हिट सो वी विल डू दैट तो कुछ-कुछ तो ऐसे है तो आपका तो क्वेरी रहता रह रहेगा एनीथिंग नाउ योर ओवर मनीषा so i have a comment on this which i will make when we will uh, discuss on hr point mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. this point abhi about my expectation yeah. so i want to uh, first of all i really want to clear with everybody that i am not a person who has come from a nutrition background i am a poor communication scholar who has worked in the domain of communication and how communication as a facilitator has been like that's to strengthen it all so when i picture mm-hmm. my role in this uh, reimagining food and nutrition security the role of an advocacy organization so what i look forward in my role is i you know as a cfns as an organization take takes up some research activities like we are doing in the wh is work or some action research models or some baseline studies we can tie up with some of some other organizations and uh, we can uh, tie up with our members for those studies like we have done in the case of wh and uh, uh, that was proposed for nmdc also so uh, when we are deliberating on uh, the, the reimagination of food and nutrition security how uh, uh, particularly communication and how this research as a holistic approach can help us revisit in this landscape this is one of my uh, outcome like what is i am expecting from this then uh, when i go through the website and what we have been uh, like listening to uh, for past one and a half years i took almost 7 8 months to understand exactly what kind of job uh, like am i supposed to do so um, um, uh, there were different reasons for that uh, because most of the time we are struggling with the funds so our core issue what i have been feeling is you know when we deliberate on the you know we have very philosophical discussions on food and nutrition security and we keep on uh, deliberating on this you know but when we go in a project mode our very essence of that uh, passion for food and nutrition security i i do not find it very visible i i do not find it very visible you know our main focus is more towards completing the project deliverables so you know for example that up in the round table so our focus is ki round table ho jaye topic aa jaye hum itna kaam kar denge aur fir hum recommendations aa jayenge so our you know it's uh, i don't find it a very complete picture you know when i see myself leaving out from this organization there should be one document in my hand that i say that see i worked towards this so uh, um, that uh, this is what uh, like this is one of my core expectations and as in the website also it's written we are working towards evidence based advocacy on one point that i differ with uh, not differ but i have a different opinion on that is you know when we are talking about we are an advocacy organization so we have to advocate for certain cases so at times i also feel that you know uh, we 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 dilute our voices in that so i'm not saying ki hum protest kare ya kya kare but there is very much less emphasis on you know a uh, two page document like this so what i feel is Uh, uh we should uh, uh, collaborate with academic the member organizations the partners to come up with some documents that can be shown that can be that can come up as a proof of evidence that we have worked on these three four lines rest the project mandate i think that will be fulfilled this is my expectation when i imagine myself in this picture yeah so so do din mein kya milega isme yes so so this is a very uh, very very appropriately placed uh, um, expectation in fact that's also coincides with my expectation i also question challenge that when we do say evidence based advocacy what we are doing what evidence we are creating that will advocate for policy change hum policy influence karne ka baat karte hain but what evidence we are creating and all that so that is also my concern so i echo her absolutely concern uh, this is this is the way we are think but i captured few things from her uh, this thing uh, one is that uh, organization role clarity <laughs> one very <laughs> this is still uh, that vigorous uh, report and then how to reimagine and revisit the mandate so i'm bolden a revision that is that uh, the how to do it this two day workshop will definitely help us to think like one of the things that is happening is that Uh, that we are understanding today, and we heard it from the donor today, that CFNS role is beyond the small project with the initiative that we are doing. Donor, donor also recognized. Donor, I, 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 I was very happy that when he put that, 
Is that a safe enough to work beyond that? And he, he emphasized about the food system and he also offered that if you have got any research document or any good discussion, knowledge product or discussion note you are prepared, you'll be happy to see those kind of things and you'll share it with other donors. So that you, I found a very genuine interest coming from genuine advice coming from a donor that this is the way they are willing to help the coalition. So, so those things are there. So I, I'm, 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 I'm feeling more encouraged. In fact, our opening session gave us that encouragement that we should not stay limited to what are those deliverables in the research project. We should think beyond that. That's why I have put always, I always tell that one is national mandate and the project mandate. Don't know things, don't know come correct. But while doing this, we have to constantly think in terms of reimagining. And reimagining, in fact, uh, what uh, Hemang said, uh, he has given a lot of pointers to re help reimagine. Re that what are the issues with respect to global issues, that how we have to move from the cereal based food system to a much more holistic food. He says that uh, the macro and micronutrients generally comes from the uh, fruits and vegetables. How we work on the fruits and vegetables. You know, in India, fruits and vegetable sector, 50% what farmers produce get lost. 50%. Yes. So, and then balance 50% may. So, farmer that goes that procured by the commercial factors and they take. And in this sector, the farmer's contribution, farmer's share of consumer rupee, that will make consumer may bazaar se jaake sabji kharita ho, may jitre paise me kharita ho, uska 12% jata hai, jo ugata hai. Or baaki paise hai, wo system me chala jata hai. Or wo system hai, that is that supply chain system. 50% to waste ho jata hai. Or baaki, so a big basket making huge money. Reliance press making huge money. But if we say that they should reduce their profit, it's not the solution. Solution is that how we de-layer. De-layer, how we make the supply chain more trim and more systematic, more efficient and all that. And one of the things that can happen if we create empowered ownership. And that's why in our mandate, we have talked about Owners empowered farmers, producer organization. If producer organizations are created, the control over the production system, marketing system, and supply chain system will come under with them. And they'll be able to do it. Not that they, they will replace the market commercial player. Commercial player will be there, but they will create a benchmark. Commercial players will also be more disciplined and they will not take the producer for a ride. If if producers' income goes up, they will put instead of producing uh, rice, which is procured on the, uh, what if your uh, support price. Support price, and we have produced more wheat and more rice. Now it's time to think that how we move from the cereal to the other crops. That's why the knowledge institutions mandate is also changing. I share that a director told that we have, our mandate is beyond rice. We may be a rice organization, but we are a mandate is beyond rice. So, humko, in this kind of direction, we have to go. So, those are the kind of uh, instruments that we should really study. And uh, if we can get Hemong's presentation, uh, Hemong's presentation, can we make a request and get it? And then that also can be circulated. That will go as a uh, product of uh, uh, this uh, output of this exercise today's, today's workshop. Usko hum jitna baar dekhenge, and very, 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 very powerful presentation what he gave. And uh, um, I say that probably this is much better than what we had envisioned uh, to uh, explain that organizational mandate and project mandate. That was the best way to present it here. So usko hum share karte. And that's the way we'll have to really work further to understand how to reimagine. And though in may have magic carnival and a to reimagine, but we should start thinking. All of you should start thinking that Mera role is much beyond what I'm doing on paper right now. 
to to complete this deliver round table ho gaya round table round table these are deliverables this is not outcome these are purely outputs but we have to see that when the nutrition security will be established what are those ways of doing it mm -hmm. and as a network organization we are not working on the ground our partners are working so how will you work with such partners who are able to create evidence i'm very upbeat about whs work right now is because i'm sensing that there are some evidences on ground that nutri uh, nutri smart communities have been created panchayat have been empowered its micro planning has been put in place and things are beginning to happen they have certain practices they have adopted so is this is showing evidence it's a model but one evidence is not good enough there will be many things then i am getting little a bit about this supply chain experiment that you what is happening but like this there are many things must be happening on ground each of you should find out in your state what are those good excellent things that is happening and how we bring it to them and cfns is willing to work on that like the other day uh, 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 sachin was telling me antara foundation has done some interesting work and would like to show mm. let's go and look at that and we'll find money to do it in in telangana there's a lot of interesting work and uh, i know wasan is involved in many interesting work in that so look at that if good work in x district in x, x panchayat of telangana is done and showing some result and we can study and we can create a product and we take it to the whole country this is the, the fulfillment of the mandate that interesting work is happening in jharkhand so let us look at that and humko hum jitna creative sochenge itna creative ho payenge and ye hamara mandate ka andar hai to humko continuously we have to work on that and then support of expert this is a very important thing hamara everybody is has limited expertise somebody is a public health person somebody is a nutrition person somebody is a rural development person you know with multiple expert but basic thing is that by virtue of our education by virtue of our understanding of the ground situation we have certain ability to go beyond what we have studied and that is the basis on which that sparks we saw you saw in you while selecting that's why you have been recruited and put in this job and we want that skill set should be you are not just because you studied engineering you should do only engineering work no you have to work beyond we had certain indication like such in the public health background but we saw his ability to coordinate manage project programs projects so he is today in this role so he will uh, understand what he has not studied in public health you will uh, study nutrition aspect you will learn and he has to be a quick learner so but at the same time the benefit of a subject matter specific specialist cannot be undermined we need to have the input or a support from a subject matter specialist how to get it one is that we get a person but another way of getting it is by partnership many organizations have this skill set many organization have done work many organization have this kind of skill person like you look at across our member organization everybody will have a nutrition background people we have to reach out to those people we have to work with them in partnership whs ka andar nutrition log hain pradhan ka andar nutrition log hain wasan ka andar nutrition log hain ab Then any organization, all kinds of nutrition log will be there. And then we have also working on nutrition knowledge institutions, like National Institute of Nutrition. We are been seriously working on building a relationship with National Institute of Nutrition. In fact, in the board meeting, we, the general body meeting, it, it was suggested that why we don't uh, work with the National Institute of Nutrition, and where the organization is created based on the unfinished dream of the the nutrition man of this country. Dr. Gopalan, you know Dr. Gopalan, C. Gopalan, who was the father of nutrition in India, who is the founder of National Institute of Nutrition. He told his prophetic words 
that the solution to malnutrition doesn't lie in pharmacy, it lies in the farm. But work on your food system, you'll get out of it. He's one of our uh, the lead thinker for this coalition. So, we have to work with NIN. We have to work with NIN. We have to work with NIN. We have to And all that national event. We have to work with NIN. 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 We have to work to build a relationship with them. Because we know that we can do nutrition recruit, but we cannot become a center of excellence. So those center of excellence hai, unke saath kaam karenge. NIN ke saath kaam karenge. Humara jo yahan pe college hai, uh, that Pul Pulkit Mathur, Lady Irwin College, is a famous uh, college known for its nutrition subject. So that we are even thinking in terms of creating a a nutrition nutritionist forum. Hmm. How we can create a nutrition and nutritionist? Do have both come nutrition say or nutritionist of dietitian one or whatever hospital may. But how nutrition can be at the community level? At the level? Can we think about a concept like portion mitra? There will be community nutrition. Who will be talking about local food? Who will be understanding the local nutrition aspect of the local food? Food atlas. Both are about it for a local food atlas panange or community level. Pay you carry up either idea, have scope of crop so cheap, but then some point of time we'll be able to create evidence to demonstrate that yes, Osan Mitra concept is a workable thing and they are the front line to promote from um, uh, right food, eat right, grow right kind of thing. ये सब करना पड़े कर, करने के लिए हमको जो जिसको समझ नहीं है वो कर पाएगा तो उसको एक हम ये करेंगे वाटर इशू में हम जल मित्र सक्सेसफुल है डिजास्टर में आपदा मित्र सक्सेसफुल है हेल्थ में फ्रंटलाइन वर्कर आपने देखे हाउ दी आशा वर्कर्स हैव क्रिएटेड गुड प्रैक्टिसेस एंड ऑल दैट हमने जो सोचते कि आंगनवाड़ी वर्कर विल डू आंगनवाड़ी वर्कर इज नॉट अ न्यूट्रिशनिस्ट आंगनवाड़ी वर्कर इज अ all in all kind of things and all that. So basically the coordinator and all that. So that's why Anganodi centers are not really addressing the nutrition issues very comprehensively. And they're not able to even addressing the other aspects of ICDS program. Both are gaps say our system management of the women and children issues so nutrition security issues and from the adolescent stage uh, then uh, pregnancy stage, the postnatal stage, then the child for the first six months, then after six, six months, up to three years, then from three years to six years, you'll go to school. So th that whole cycle we need to understand. And what is this cycle I'm talking about? What is this our ICDS program talks about? ICDS program talks about this Women and Child Development Program, it talks about it. You should go to the website, read that, get the guidelines from the government. State may kya changes hai, ek to got national guidelines hai, or state may be kush to changes hai. Aapka state may kya ICDS program may kya changes hai. To usko sab samaj ne ka bad, you will be in a position to suggest ki ye area mein hum kaam karenge Zharkhand mein. Ye area mein hum kaam karenge Satishgad mein. Ye area mein kaam karenge Odisha mein. Ye isko aapko zaruri hai. To aapka contribution bhoot significant hai. But nothing, or, or nothing can be undermined the importance of the experts. We are also looking for support. Once we get some money, we will get some nutrition expert within the house. But that's not going to provide everything. We have to depend on the nutrition expertise of our member organizations. Then, uh, you know, hey, complete holistic work, we, we talked that, uh, uh, that only Deliverable is not our work. We should look at the, the, the whole part of the work so that we can create, uh, we will be feel happy that we are able to create uh, evidences and outcome. That is what is outcome. Complete holistic work is leading to outcome. Then stronger collaboration. Collaboration And we are a network. We have to build our strength on collaboration. In-house, in-house 
capacity will not be enough for us. We have to conceptually innovate ways of collaborating, ways of building on others' knowledge. So, yeah, I think we have to listen to him. Listen to, yeah. So, we got digressed. Uh, I'm getting lost into the so much of valuable inputs which you was talking about. And I remember I've been involved with this pollution for more than a decade. Uh, probably been the exception has been involved into this pollution. Also, I was part of that, how policy has been in Dublin. I still remember I was talking to him right now. I think 2017, when the policy was being, uh, we have Boston Consulting Group, which was actually preparing the entire policy framework for the CNFS. So, CNA, sir. So, it's good to pronounce a full name. If you say CNA, it becomes carrying in forward again. <laughs> <laughs> it's food and nutrition only. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, so I'll just focus to a couple of things. Uh, I'm in my entire career also, I've always worked with uh, different Subrat parties. is a member of the coalition. Yeah. So, very interesting and listening to him and his experience is very right when he talks about uh, when if you don't create a consortium and people working together, we cannot be able to make any meaningful impact on the society, mm -hmm. especially in the food and nutrition. Yeah, this is a very vast area. There are a lot of opportunities I could still see is uh, if they are. And, and coming from the background, as, as a country had meaning of high layer of. Consortium of all different agencies, all interest and donors. Like when I started working at a very young age, I was I have formed a consortium of UNICEF, WHO, World Food Program, Gay, Bill Gates Foundation, name any international organization, Children Health Initiative, Depression Information. I was managing a, a small consortium but very effective consortium. So how we work together? We work together, uh, we have developed a joint plan working together together. When you I used to organize the meeting with the chief secretary, chief ministers, believe me, I used to invite everyone. And and one why I used to get the appointment because of these all members, mm -hmm. the name, the initiative is involved with me, yeah. WH is involved with me, Gates Foundation is involved with me, Karaka is involved with me. So all the agencies name is there. Mm -hmm. That's why I was you know getting quick uh, you know, so, uh, support from the state government. Mm. And I still remember when I used to work in 2005 and six, we used to get 300 crores for the food program. And that is the reason why I always say that up job koi bhi program karte ho, usme sab collaborator ka logo lagao. It is not a yes. CFNS program only. Yeah. It is CFNS, UNICEF, WHH, uh, CHIEF, both are organizations and local context. Suppose MP me ke MP me, our actually eight ten people should have been. Odisha me kya? Odisha me sab kya tha? Kitna logo lagaye the? Three. Oh, the idea is that the visibility kaise aayega? Ab sab logo ko organization ko laoge. That what Suppose is telling that government used to look at and so many actors are here associated with this. So that gives you a image. Like a model of like a Odisha Vikas there are many collaborations. Mm. So, so why I'm saying this thing is because just allow me to speak a little bit about my experiences on this area. I didn't have a background of education when I started working. I had a background of communication as working as a journalist for a newspaper. And then having no idea of uh, what I'm supposed to do in education. But it's actually not the science of education, it is actually how we communicate to the people. You know, how we communicate and reach out and express what you actually intend to do as, as different stakeholders. That is what is required. And only the government aspect that, you know, what kind of support you can bring to the government. I'll come later on with the government part. First of all, you know, as to, you talked about the you know, policy issues and practices. So, first of all, you have to know as an expert because you will be heading the state programs. What are the policies which are available at the center? So most of the policies are very nice. Uh, I worked in different countries also. So India, all the policies are very good. It is everything they have put in the uh, National Food Security Act is there. There are so many policies which have been developed, uh, child care acts. Every policies are really good. But you see certain gaps when it comes to the state. They have readopted the policy in the little bit of twisting, writing differently. Uh, they have adopted. 
So uh, you'll see, now we have to understand what are the policy gaps. For example, like Chhattisgarh, for example. Mm -hmm. So I remember two and a half years ago, I think, uh, almost uh, they have announced that they have a state uh, military for example. So they have announced, the CM has announced 1,150 crore. It's a huge money. Mm. And when I interacted with the uh, the agriculture secretary, actually it used to have Mr. Singh. Mm. I don't know why he's right now. So then uh, the agriculture department was telling us that uh, there are no uh, funds. Hello, what is the police thing? Like he have recently announced the 150 crore and there are no funds. There is a certain policy gaps. What I need to say, actually, you have to understand the uh, what they are concerned and what is there actually. What is the finer point? What, what actually they are implementing. So that understanding is also needs to be you know, built uh, in your work. This is the problem when it comes to the policy. Uh, there are a lot of issues. That, uh, when they talk about the food and nutrition, there are the flagship programs, the PDS, ICDS. So we always talk about that. But honestly, I have not seen any NGO actually focus on particular those sectors. None of those, those NGOs have worked. Uh, they always believe on capacity building and understanding those things, creating awareness. But why you are talking about the food security, but you are not actually working in this case? Talk, talk, take an example of you know, how many of the organizations know actually what food is given to the IGDA children. Mm -hmm. You will not find too many documents actually. Uh, but you know, it is there in the policy, but what actually you are giving? Take an example of Urisha, very different from Rajasthan, very different mm -hmm. from UP. Mm -hmm. So Urisha ICDS program is one of the best, I would say, because mm -hmm. I have personally seen, uh, they have created the SNG groups, SNGs are managing, and many of the SNGs have their branding machines, uh, uh, and a flower branding machines, Let me they have. But take an example of UP, for example, which has given to the country shut down those uh, big organizations to supply the food. Same thing is happening in Alison also, like, you know, Kota uh, Dal Mill has taken the big contract. So the one, uh, one um, you can say, factory or agency is supplying the entire SPS food to the children. Mm. So so these are the examples you have to understand what, what is happening at the grassroots level. And ICDS program always talked about uh, certain amount of nutrition, eight to nine different you can to be given provided this. You'll see absolutely it's missing. It's not there at all. Similarly, you'll see the in medieval board mm. So what I need to say, you have to understand the, the policy gaps, what they talked about and what is there. In the field. Number one. So second, you talked about two years. Uh, every organization has got five years of plan, three yeah. years, two years. It's a good idea, Bustida. We should have at least two to, I would say, three years work plan. Yes. So, what we are supposed to do in the coming year? <coughs> you will give, you will give us a clear picture of what we actually intend to do. Actually, she was talking about, uh, we do not know exactly what we are supposed to do in the space. So, some kind of this uh, work plan, every organization does this, they have this uh, work plan. Uh, if we can create three years work plan at least, so it will give some clarity in our work, what we actually want to achieve. Mm. Uh, at national level as well as industries. So we can come up with a three years work plan because it requires a lot of time and effort to do that. Uh, how to strengthen the working of this uh, pollution of the states? So we had in, uh, eight working groups. There was a very interesting no, we had eight, no, ten, eight, eight uh, expert working group for the part of the mm. uh, It was uh, very well designed and all of the experts used to provide the, you know, uh, the research input, uh, a lot of those programmatic input to into this those work, uh, you know, working groups. So you can revise those working groups again. But again, same working group needs to be made in the states also. It was not there. Mm -hmm. Still not there. It's missing. So we can work at the state level. Uh, if we can design or develop those working groups, if not eight, maybe six or five, depending on what actually you want to focus in those states. That we have to do. Coming to this advocacy activities of CNF, yes, the Commission for Food and Nutrition Security. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, uh, we once we have this work plan, and a lot of those I agree with the uh, because a lot of those ideas will come from the state. It should not come from the very two state. Mm. 
it's a bottom to top approach. So we should have some clarity to understand uh, what is happening in the space. What we can do, probably uh, to understand more in a better way to create solutions uh, or working groups in the space, we can have some stakeholders analysis like this. It's mm -hmm. very quick. Uh, mm -hmm. you, you need two, three days time spending on that. Randomly, you know, many of the organizations are working uh, in food and nutrition ideas. Mm -hmm. you randomly, you choose the organizations and then you analyze. You just go to the website, which are the, uh, what are the approach, what are the areas they work on. So then you create a, a, what is called a stakeholders uh, analysis tool or whatever you say. Develop that and it will give you a lot of clarity. Uh, what to approach, how to approach, whom to approach. So you can reach out to those states, uh, those organizations. Mm. Uh, and then when you invite them as uh, part of this uh, mm. industries. So that could be the first approach. Mm. He was a leader in the space. You should go and uh, reach out to those organizations. Mm. And, and that you should do, that exercise. Guidance uh, to the states and some later on. Uh, role of uh, Role of the organization, then it will define uh, what should be the role of the organization. And also, you find out everything you do not need to do, that every meetings you have to go, you organize everything. We are the consortium group, the members will lead that. that the basic idea of this uh, consortium is actually to facilitate the organizations to you know, take major <coughs> responsibilities roles. That's what actually we thought about. Uh, about this consortium. So in the state also, you identify a lead organization who can uh, host different activities in the states. Uh, I believe you can lead, but we can go there also in the states uh, to design those things. But initial exercises have to be done by you in the state. That you can do. And we can definitely define the role of the agencies. What agencies, they should also agree. First, first of all, you should have Face to face interaction. We could actually jump into the consortium board and talk to the meetings. Talk individually, agree to your point, what they are supposed to do, what they can do. And then you can already announce in the meetings. So you can design those roadmaps of the states. We talked about tactics. So there is something about tactics. To How to do it? It's not that it is one is standard operating procedure, another is how to do it. Nutrition Resource Center here, Pradhan so we should engage. That's an intent. But how to do it? If you say that, we have phone kya tha, kuntale, kuntale, madam, reply nahi diye. Hum ko, phone karte, mail karte, kuch nahi aata. So how to handle that? So tactics. So Suprat was talking about that how to tactics. These things always happen. It's not that uniquely happening with you. It happens with everybody and every time. And every state up is like, you know, no. like for example, the lot of five works I used to do to the UNICEF office. Like, you know, I used to send an email to the UNICEF state uh, head, head office that can you organize the meeting with me that come to the chief So, those are two things. have to understand which, like, one secretary is very close to the UNICEF office. You will find like this. Uh, mm. Some in MP Pratibha is there in uh, in Bhopal. We can we can approach her. She has a very good contact with all the uh, state uh, secretaries. She can be a good help to us also mm -hmm. to organize those meetings. Mm -hmm. So we have to find who could be the right person we can approach to reaching out to the chief secretary to reach out to the health secretary or the food secretary. So we have to find out all those ways and which are agreeable, like you know. And every state office has got a nutrition expert or uh, the nutrition head. So we can have a meeting with them because a uh, lot of our work is in the UNICEF office. So we can have those collaboration developed first before actually we reach to the top. So once we have developed, designed, agreed, all the activities that state consortium can take lead on that, then together. Together, we can approach to the state government. Like, you know, we started a meeting with the food secretary. And, and before that, we need to have all the plan and uh, activities should be ready. That this is what actually, as a, as a constitution, we are supposed to do in the state. Once it is ready and agreed, then you approach to the government. That this is what we want to do 
in collaboration with state government. It could be the WCD, it could be the food, whatever you decide and choose. So this is what I feel. Uh, just abruptly going to a government, government will always ask you what you are supposed to do hmm. with me because ultimately there is a business. It's not that you know you go and they give you just uh, a table to discuss. Uh, they also map what actually you have the what you can do. Government is very smarter than much smarter than us. They will they will see ultimately I as I said is always they they will they will ask you what you can do what you can do. So be ready for that. So whenever I go, I always prepare myself what I am supposed to discuss with the uh, health secretary or the food secretary or the chief secretary. So I should know first what I actually can offer to the state government because we are in the business, mm. right? So that kind of design should be there. Everything should be ready on the moment. Then you can do an approach. And when you communicate, you can only mention that you know Pradhan is uh, part of our association. WHS is part of our Which of the state you are, whoever is available, you mention the letter and go and approach. Probably you can set up the meeting and ask all the members to join in the same meeting also. So it will be good uh, to my to my idea. Uh, coming to the importance of local food, definitely it's a very long exercise. We cannot finish everything in two or one one day. Uh, definitely the idea of traditional foods, we can derive the traditional foods, but, but again, a lot of those food system has changed right now. Reviving the traditional food, the import food was a little, little challenging, but we prefer a lot of time, we can do that also. Like millet now, we are talking about this part of the traditional food, so which is very much accepted by the government of India. So I'll, I'll talk a little bit about uh, this uh, millet part. Uh, like there are a lot of, uh, in 2022, out of my own interest, I organized a meeting in Jaipur, uh, which was attended by seven to eight state governments. I see a lot of enthusiasm of the state governments to do, do something on Millet. But again, they talk about Rajasthan, for example. The last uh, budget they have announced 50 crore uh, of Millet programs, but nothing has happened actually. There are uh, people in the state department, like in the agriculture department, they are very much interested in the of that they have proposed a concept, how to do it, but nothing more <coughs> in the state of Afghanistan. So, so we can take up those initiatives. Again, uh, there are, funding is not a constraint. So we should work as a facilitator. For example, I have visited a lot of states like Haryana, UP, and recently I visited to a place called uh, Ajmer. And I was so happy to see a lot of those FPOs, farmers, producers, organizations, they have set up big processes in it. And I can't imagine that the small organizations of group can create those big infrastructures. That is happening across different states. FPOs are getting a lot of funds, which are mostly subsidy funds, uh, from the Ministry of Small and Industries. Uh, there is a PM fund, uh, there is a fund for FPOs also. So, why not we as a group facilitate to set up those infrastructures at, uh, at, at block level and then we can produce a lot of foods from there also. And it's, it is going to benefit the FBOs as well. And also, we can get food prepared or manufactured by those local institutions instead of giving to a small, big supplier. So we can promote those kind of, it could be a SLG also. So we can strengthen the capacity of the SLGs. And there are a lot of NGOs that are working on this uh, in this area. So we can collaborate with those NGOs who so is working in this field. And we can create a very good impact to uh, supply the foods to ICDS. And definitely the quality food, I would say. Uh, now, as of now, I don't see the quality of food is supplied to any of the ICTS programs because of a lot of constraints. In winter, will definitely there are about 40 and big agencies, uh, so called NGOs, they are supplying the table program. But in ICTS, there is a huge requirement of providing quality foods because many much of those foods are not there right now. So, stone, there is no, uh, there is no least owner. That's why the stone is coming because we also need to know. The technology part of that also. Why stone is coming? Because the whosoever has prepared that food, they don't have those kind of infrastructure or facilities available. 
So we also need to know all those things and why it can collaborate with the FPOs, uh, with the local NGOs, or the CEOs, whosoever is involved in the food system. And definitely coming to the working group, uh, 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 before that, we, we spoke about resource mobilization. If you see, there are a lot of ESUs. I worked while I was working at Tata Trust, uh, I was working at a big program. National Dairy Development Board was part of that. We mobilized a lot of resources from uh, from the ESUs. Obviously, they have a huge fund. And now they have been given uh, many districts, uh, the aspiration districts. And each aspiration district is getting around 50 to 60 crore. It's a huge money. Uh, to be spent and 50 percent of the money should be spent on the health and nutrition programs so uh, there are policies actually so uh, we can approach those institutions also or the district collector uh, whether we can <coughs> design those kind of programs uh, in the districts in collaboration with the, with the uh, psus corporate csr and that is happening across different states and districts so that should come from the trust what I mean is it should come from you, uh, which is the So then we can talk at the, at the highest level. We can talk to the CSR head from here, from Delhi, and, and find out opportunities, uh, whether we can mobilize more resources for, for this work. And definitely last is the working group. So uh, we are not very strong in uh, creating more, uh, bringing more organizations uh, in states. We have to work a lot to bring more of institutions, organizations, and individuals to work in with the food and nutrition security position, right? So that we have to look at. Any questions you can ask? No, it's a very comprehensive list. In fact, we try, I tried to capture most of the things with all the black. Uh, so they are from the members, and they are a very active member, and they have been interestingly involved in the evolution of the coalition from many years. So he has had deep uh, insight. Uh, in fact, let me tell you candidly, he was uh, he only nominated me to say <laughs> Twice, twice he did. Kuntalika ji wants to say yeah. <laughs> I would like to add a couple of points. I think uh, Sukhato has comprehensively mentioned many things. A couple of things that becomes very important now and we are working in Madhya Pradesh, we are doing this community nutri garden. So the concept has been taken up extensively by the government, by the MG Narega. So MG Narega converging with the SRLM and working with GIZ. And Pradhan is also one of the implementing, or I would now say technical agency for them. Across Madhya Pradesh, 6,000 such uh, community nutrient garden, which are to be done on common lands and which are to be done on with the group members who are landless, marginalized. So you see the production of nutritious food in the community at a scale, and then connecting it with the ICDS and midday meal would be very easy if we look at a little more convergence into the things. Right. So I'm just giving an example. So I think somewhere we miss this convergence also. So silos in the department is good. But if we can also have some convergence yeah. committees around yeah. such programs. So the Community Nutri Garden in Madhya Pradesh is one program around which we can now, they have converged the Narega and the NR SRLM now. If we can bring in the ICDS or the health department also, WCD and health department, I think it would add value in terms of talking about social behavior change required after, when it, it's about not the production, but also the consumption. So when you talk about consumption, there is a lot to do about social behavior change communication. I think in the entire program, very less emphasis is on that. So can we see, collaborate and converge and create such uh, uh, such programs with them. This is one I thought I will just highlight in that sense because this program has gained a lot of uh, attraction in the Madhya Pradesh government and I think this can be taken up in um, Jharkhand or any other uh, Jharkhand and as well as Chhattisgarh and other states. So that's where I thought cross uh, sharing and learning between the state of some of these best uh, schemes and programs aimed toward nutrition 
can also be a, um, I would say, an intervention to think about, have a deliberation on, have small uh, dialoguing between the partner organizations who are at a state chapter level. I think meeting regularly at a, you know, kind of a, I would say, state chapter organizations, facilitating that would be one of the SPO's role having them at a meeting at a regular interval, maybe in three months, once or three months. So you keep the dialoguing on and also touch upon all the important elements that's happening within the organization, cross-learn, cross-share, converge, include the departments into also that. So that is another uh, aspect I thought uh, what the SPOs can uh, think of when they want to strategically engage into the with these state chapters to strengthen and bolster uh, CFNS's this network and bring in more kind of a shared learning and co-creating models. And some models then we can take up as an offering to the government departments also. Look, this is something that has worked out. I, I was hearing about some small pilots where this uh, some evidence has been created. Can we take this up? And in that, I think people from uh, Delhi, uh, Pushti sir, and uh, all these people can go such in all you of you can go and uh, influence there at the state level for those uh, model programs. So that's uh, one thought that I had as I was hearing Shubhrata saying everything. That's all, Pushti sir. Thank that you. It's very interesting. I added this community nutri gardens that uh, yes. we model, <coughs> looking at especially looking at the MNRE aspect. I think we're looking at that. And uh, how the SRLM connection that is probably that dimension will be. And this uh, convergence focus collaboration is uh, definitely now mandated. And thank you for uh, strengthening it and uh, re emphasizing it. Uh, cross uh, sharing and cross learning. This is important. And the state level identifies what some interesting things are happening. And uh, let's take our members to visit some area and all that. Getting a little bit of money to handle the, to pick up the logistic cost will not be difficult because the, the organizations who are taking uh, to visit, they will be able to provide some money. And uh, we can also try to get some money from some other sources and all that. And we are now also asked by our donors to prepare our uh, new uh, work plan. So we'll try to provide some money in that. But everything one cannot come from CFNS because CFNS will ultimately have limited resource from the But for example, this time in Madhya Pradesh, uh, <clears throat> WHS offered that you uh, arrange cross visits of partners to our area, we'll pick up the cost. Look, so this is without asking this happened. So, the foundation also. Uh, FIA Foundation will be very happy to do it. So, like that, they will, but you have to think critically. You think that what you can do. In, in in your state, arrange the plan and uh, do it. So these are you will you will feel energized. So our member organizations will feel energized. They will be able to expose to some new things, and then you can create a product out of that learning and share. And the government may not be knowing many things, so government will find it. And then that's not a knowledge product, but at least it is a it is a it is a, it is a dissemination dissemination of a uh, cross visit. So they will think that yes. And how government can benefit out of this cost visits? You can suggest once you visit, you can plan. Then new ideas will come. This is interesting and co-creating models. Mm. This is a very interesting thing. See, besides, we have been talking about uh, uh, POC. POC is called proof of concept. Some idea is coming, and uh, that idea, whether it has some merit, whether it will, it makes some sense or not, that has to be done. So, a small area for proof of concept trial. We will do it in 2-4 Anganwadi, we will do it in 2-3 community, we will see what happens. We will do it with the knowledge institution, we will do it with the development actor, and we will do it with the POC, an idea. Create, bring an idea, and try to, through a POC route, try to test it. If it makes sense, okay, then we will go to pilot. Pilot with a little bit scale, then funding will come and all that. Then, and once pilot shows the result, then go for application. And these are the things we will be talking in our program development uh, session. So this uh, uh, brings us... Uh,
ಬಗೀಚಾ which with the government 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 program with its uh, mission shakti and it's, it was initial with this livelihood mission prior to that also <clears throat> it's you know it's, it's all 300 300 14 blocks and across 17 lakhs uh, women women folks are engaged here but my suggestion is uh, few things are running good we should take that benefit but it's, it's uh, my one of my suggestions i think it will be to find the critical gap how it it will sustain and it is the community members or women folks they can get the benefit throughout the year my observation with this in mo bagicha it is providing service or delivery service up to maximum 5 to 6 months because these are all the rent fed 18 items they are providing but it is these are all these are all only only for up to the maximum maximum 6 months may not be also so that it's uh, how this is the way we are talking about food and nutrition or water well, because these are all integrated and even if it's uh, um, promoting promoting the groups may not be wage uh, fund may not be may not be a problem because fund is there if you if you with the cfns can organize the travel cost and others take the learning and find the critical gaps how to sustain certain this program this is one and we have done also there is a few area in titlagor where it was it is a barren and it is a highly distressed migration now these are all the settled cultivars and few villages they are running well we, we provided this land and water along with the seeds but the collectives are there is taking it forward very very prominently now they have asset water and it is its crop so that is water governance this is community or this individual household he has the right and govern this entire water resources here any moment they can they can run it so this these are, these are all interconnected program which is the how to catalyze and how to take it forward i think you should find a way to take the learning and find the way to gap thank you so much yeah thank you pradeep <clears throat> In fact, this uh, Mobogita model, I'll request Sanjeev to look at that, the sustainability aspect, and if we can uh, work on that model and uh, bring that sustainability Odisha, dimension. This uh, program is going on, this undertaken by government of Odisha. Many, but you're saying that what Rajiv said, yes, that gaps. the program has got gaps. Must sustainability must is a big gap. So, anyway, so we'll do that. So, these are some interesting input has come. Uh, I just when you were mentioning about this, you know, we have to understand the policy gaps. Uh, so, uh, like, for example, the organizations that are working on PDS, ICDS, so, so we don't know, we are more towards the community organization part. And this is one of the inputs that we, I also have from the donors, that, you know, why are we moving towards this as an advocacy organization? Why are we not looking at the people who have a, you know, influence, so those key influential people who can uh, influence, who have the ability to influence as well? So I just wanted to connect my statement, what I had made, that, you know, when we are working, what, uh, like, what my expectations are and what I expect the states to do is, you know, when they are visiting the schools, they can give me, they can share the kind of complete information that is there available on the screen. We can all collectively go through the policy structure. If you find it's very boring to go through that, we can assign tasks to each one of us that you have to look at this section and give you the status of what is happening in your area. So then we can collectively uh, jot down the problems and then that, those policy gaps, what do you do with the policy gaps? So the trend that I observed is those policy gaps come in the form of LinkedIn posts. I saw your post on Oil Street yesterday. I see Sriram Sir's post on uh, FPO component and all that. So, you know, when a person is stating something or when an organization, which is a consortium that is stating something, if it comes out with a published material on that, maybe she can name a monthly or so on, but on the website or so on. So, uh, you know, uh, that visibility factor is there. Mm -hmm. So, this is. I just wanted to add to that. Yeah, I, I took a very small example of uh, what are the gaps. Like, you know, we 
in policies, everyone says some the nice things, what is happening in this country. I'll give you a simple example of how FCI works. For example, like, you know, FCI is a lot of storage of the Punjabi community, because most of the people are in the week. So I visited to an FCI, it was not at all, but I managed to go into that and see how it's done. Those also gave a cover, for example. And, and when they are selling, because uh, they also say to the flower mill owners, um, industry could get some, but excess uh, quick is there. You know, the tricky thing which nobody ever talked about. Jabu Besta, those are Purana Gemogia, so Inka the moisture content will reduce. The once moisture content will reduce, that means the weight will also come. 100 kg and 2 kg moisture loss means the weight loss. Take it out. I'll give you some small example. So what they do, they spray water. <laughs> they spray water. And I brought it to the, the CM of Haryana, I brought it to the Chief Secretary, Food Secretary. Oh, sir, I am okay. He's asking me. I highlighted those things. These guys, you are doing and you are spoiling the wheat. Wait, in this case, you are going to spoil the wheat. And people don't eat any food. They are going to eat the wheat. So, what is this? So, sir, I am not going to eat the wheat. No one says what is happening? Like, koi food secretary hai, toh samne galat cheez se kuch nahi bol raha hai, toh sara cheez super aayega. The system is made like this. Uh, nobody will blame each other. Nobody will accuse each other in the common system. Only the civil society people like us, we will keep on highlighting those things. Okay? So, jab humko pata hi chalega, nahi chalega, toh kya achhi zaidat kar. So, what is what I am saying? It's not only individually we will highlight this thing. Not in Instagram. Very strategically, we have to build up this moment now. And you then have to saath, collectively you have to take this call. And in and along with that, we have to also find what is the probable solution. Yes. There is certain uh, master loss hota hai, weight come ho jata hai, isliye usko karne ke ek koi kisi ka dimag mein aaya, jaise COVID ke time mein, oh the uh, infection carry karta hai, to usko spray kar do. Fire service ko koi koi government ne bol diya. I had to the it went to the Supreme Court. Water <laughs> spray was <laughs> only not for moisture loss. Actually, there is a lot of free trade. Uh, and to manage that, they do all this. Uh, so, so I think it's, it's a very, very corrupt system. Uh, so, it's not that. So, yeah, it's, but it's can a, I tell that food is ready and it's uh, warm? So let's actually have a warm food rather than a stale food. Uh, food and nutrition people should have warm and <laughs> nutrition. So food. this 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 ends this session. And after lunch, we come and we start. We just ended how many sessions? Start to like it. This one will start. I think let's do a bit more of good time planning. Be ready for the performance. Be ready for the performance.